Check, check. Can you hear us? Check, check. Team Dominator. Where are you watching from? I thought that was going to go there, didn't we, but might end up being back here again. I might mean, I bet you it's not. Um, we'll have to back in a minute. Definitely a double dry line here, and then I think out near Dodge. We're live. Oh, no. Oh, we are live. Yeah. Let me switch it to Rover. There you go. There we go. Did you just pull out of a tree uh, dom or what? What? That, 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 that. It easily could have. Hi everybody, welcome to southwestern Kansas. We thought storms were about to initiate, so we fired up this live and those ended up subsiding a little bit. But all the uh, many of the short range model guidance show supercells erupting here in southwestern Kansas, maybe even near the Oklahoma Kansas border. There's woo! There's also a favorable environment down in the eastern Texas panhandle, but that might remain a little bit capped. And there's a capping inversion just above the ground, a warm nose up there, if you will. And uh, that has prevented thunderstorms from initiating so far, but there's a big jet stream coming out. And probably near sunset, extending just a little bit after sunset, we are going to be chasing these supercell storms southwestern into central Kansas. And then tomorrow looks like there could also be a severe weather outbreak and possibility even an intense tornado or two uh, northern Missouri up into central Iowa, maybe even the I-80 corridor. This is the first time this season that the Dominator 3 has been in full-blown intercept mode. You've got Edgar O'Neill on camera right now. There he is. We got Captain Van over too. What's it's that? hotter than the sun back there, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's an oven. We've got Sierra Lindsay 3. Hello. And we've got Jordan H. Hall. He right now is getting dialed in, getting the drone ready to go. We do have the subsonic powered up. be moved a little bit. Now it's on. Are you looking for another windscreen, Jordan? I'm looking for that windscreen. I'm just going to get my computer out and then connect to the sink. my computer and then connect to the subsonic probe. I'm going to connect to it, turn it on and make sure that it's connected to GPS. We really need to have that GPS data when we deploy this thing. This was designed by Chase and Spin. This is how we measured that 60 millibar pressure uh, change in less than a second, three quarters of a second. It gave us concussion-like symptoms inside of the tornado. And right now we're scanning the skies out here. We're trying to look for bubbling cumulus, towering cumulus, any sign of supercell initiation 
And I think we've got kind of a double dry line structure with a dry line, the main dry line further west out near Dodge. And we've got an eastern dry line as well, further east with the deeper moisture. We got Jaden Pappenheim back there too. Hey guys, we're going to get the audio straightened out. We need a windscreen on that, but look, we're, we, we're seeing the inside of the dome. This is exciting. And we're also seeing very blue skies. Yeah, mine's more of a uh, little cup. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning there south of Valentine. Nebraska. Yeah. Just it looks terrible. Northwest of Mullen. Storm firing uh, north of Broken Bow also. We got a storm forming just north of Broken Bow in Nebraska. Little super cellular structure, but they did issue a severe thunderstorm watch up there so far. No tornado watch just because cloud bases might be a little high initially. But when you get a little bit closer to sunset, like an hour and a half from now, might have a greater chance of producing a tornado. So right now I'm going to connect my computer to the subsonic probe, make sure that it's connected to some GPS satellites. But right now we're just scanning the sky, looking for towering cumulus to form out here. Every supercell has to start from something. It can't, can't just uh, suddenly appear, poof, and then suddenly you got a full-blown supercell. It's got to start as a little dot of fog. And then it grows up into a cumulus cloud, then a towering cumulus cloud, then it expands into a thunderstorm, then a supercell storm, and then it starts developing tornado potential. And we think that we could go through that like 7, 8, 9 p.m. this evening and then overnight. Southeasterly winds there in Dodge. A satellite satellite imagery I'll show you some satellite imagery here Ooh. yeah you can see these uh, severe storms up in Nebraska up kind of in the sand hills from Nebraska to arc of moisture by the eastern Texas panhandle has a cumulus field out there and then we've got these lines just near Pratt on the eastern dry line and that's what we're watching out here watching those to see if they'll bubble up. They haven't started bubbling up just yet. This is kind of the eastern dry line and there's a western dry line. One time in 2004, we were all worried about a cat bust out near Ulysses, Kansas. And then uh, suddenly we saw a towering cumulus like a half hour before sunset. In a matter of 20 minutes, it went from nothing to towering cumulus to supercell storm to tornado on the ground. And like a 20 minute period, big stove pipe just before sunset out there get kind of some similar feelings like that with this setup probably going to be a little bit later mid to late evening i bet but very windy feels like tornado weather out here sunny skies now you still got those towers though over there might even form in northwest oklahoma do you see that like over woodward has some nice you view. see that someone they kim trailed across they did Oh boy! Do what? We got harp at work here. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Audio's out of sync, it says, but. I mean, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it looks amazing. That rover cam looks amazing, Edgar. Awesome. Holy cow. Yeah, it's super easy to get a bunch of dynamic angles. With oh, the there it is. <laughs> What's cool is when you're giving the forecast too, since it's coming from your mic. Yeah. I could don't even have to be pointed at you. You can keep talking. Wow. It's gonna be awesome. 
All right, I'll hook my computer up to the subsonic. It's beautiful out here today, right? Amazing. Jaden, he'll be having a follow cam for us today, right? Yep. There's Zero, the storm chasing dog with Jaden, so. Yeah. Yeah, you guys will be seeing some of that as well. Boy, a lot of dust comes into the back here through those vents. Dude, when that one dust, when that when the dust blew earlier, oh, it was just everywhere wow. back here. Yeah, that's everything's crazy. covered in like a soot of, of sand. Okay. This is it, guys. This is the real behind the scenes of, of storm chasing yeah. here. This is what it's like. It just happens. A lot, of looking, a lot of looking at the skies, as you can see Jordan's doing. So all we can oh, do yeah. is look. A lot of those new models are showing a cell fire in just our south on the Oklahoma Kansas border as well. Uh, but as you can see here, we got bubbles here uh, out to our east, which is a little early uh, for some of those models. So we're just going to sit here, observe, and we can get a bubbler that really gets going. All hazards are possible into this late afternoon and the overnight hours. So please just be aware of that. Okay, real time is on. Ah, it's dead. Got the drone set up up here. Great to ride. We got to come back here and see Captain Van over. What's up? He's ready to pop out this hatch right above his head there. Yep. Yes, sir. We've already done a little test run. He's got his drones ready. Yep. Storm. Yeah. It's storm. Yeah. We have, we're officially have everything ready. All we need is a storm. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Is there a uh, plug in there, you guys, on the back? Uh, plug them into the thing. Oh, the eco? Yeah. Or you can play it right here for right now. <laughs> Wait. I just have to turn this on real quick. Make sure it's on. The eco flow. So right now, Reed's making sure that our subsonic sensor is going. If we drive this thing right into a tornado, we might as well collect the data, right? Yeah. Woo! It's hot today, windy. We all gotta make sure we stay hydrated. Hydration is key. This is what it would look like if you're just sitting right behind the co-pilot seat in Dominator 3. Just what it would look like if you were sitting here along for the ride. So we're happy to give you guys that viewing angle for this this chase and actually for this whole season. Alrighty. I'm, uh, I'm active. Here we go. Jordan's checking out models over here. Gotta reconnect it to uh hot spot fast and then here we go, we're gonna load the new ones here. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, there we go. Man. <coughs> it's honed in on that storm, isn't it? It's really just locked in. Here's the new run man over in Sierra. You just keep ripping those storms down, man. Uh, fires that guy. Hey, how are y'all? Hi. Right before zero. How are you? Just admiring the yeah. sheet. <laughs> How's it going? We're about to turn on this microbarometer here. Well, this sat down 
lower to the ground? Yeah, yeah, it could drop flush, and then we have a spike system over here too. Okay. That'll anchor us to the ground. That'll go in like about six or eight inches. Don't so. Let you. Oh no, you're, you're good. Here Hi there. <laughs> I'm Reed. Trendle. Reed Timmer. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Yeah. I'm not so sure I haven't seen you on TV or something. Yeah, yeah, a while back. Yeah, I've been, uh, yeah, on and off definitely quite a bit. Now we do mostly just do social media. I don't even know how to watch TV anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're you know, good southerly winds. It'll probably be another hour or two before they make an attempt to develop. But we were thinking maybe down here on this eastern dry line, but All right, guys, some we'll of the forecast models sure. are kind of showing. Okay. You an area down there to develop down near the border, but You're maybe not. It could be a clear sky bust, Kansas. hopefully, That's too. So, oh, yeah, you we can feel it. Like yeah, you, you can tell. Check, check. Yeah. So we have a few, we have a few audio uh, inputs and everything, but as you can see, when people are having conversations in different places, you're like, what is happening here? So Jordan's looking at satellite. I could bring that up for you. I'd love to just give you his, but all you're going to hear is back and forth. So let me give you an overview of the day uh, and welcome everybody new to the stream. So this is uh, the map that you see right here. This is basically the Storm Prediction Center issues a warning each and every day about where severe weather might happen. And this is today. Actually, you could see that there's some action going on over over here on the East Coast. But these guys are right here in this. Whoop. Let's see if we can get a more accurate rate up. Oh, Reed is back. We'll go to them. Alright, so I'm going to turn on the subsonic sensor, make sure that it's hooked up to GPS. Ooh, allergies. <coughs> Excuse me. To the sky. And then I'm going to log in on the computer here. There it is, subsonic three. There's the data, and we do have a satellite pick, so it's already connected to satellites, four, uh, 11 satellites, four with a fix, and this is our temperature, 36 degrees Celsius, we're at 925 HPA pressure, and uh, there you can see our altitude right now, 651 meters, and so we are connected. And uh, ideally, we can deploy this a little bit ahead of the tornado, and then we'll go and intercept it. We'll also run the under pressure app. But yeah, it is connected. Do you have a mic? Huh? Mic? Hey, uh, Jordan, you might have your mic on. No, no, you have a mic and I have Oh, okay. <laughs> Just in case. We got a lot of mic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I was, How are you doing? I was literally on Facebook five minutes ago just watching the live stream. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Have one dance. Wait, where's that at? I get on Google Maps like five minutes ahead. I'm like, yeah. I'm about to witness this. Nice, man. Yeah, we're about to get started with a chase forecasting and yeah. Want something. Yeah, we were flying the FPV drone. That's Captain Vanover, the world champion drone racer in the backseat. Ah. He's going to launch it out of the hatch. Okay. And so we're going to try to, yeah, experiment with the FPV drone as a delivery mechanism. What yeah, that's mean? our micro barometer. Let me I put it inside before I forget. I, I left it outside one time. Oh, no. I came and then, yeah, I, I forgot it. An expensive guy. Left it on the side of the road one time. How's it going? Testament. How are you? How's it going? Good to see you guys. They watch you all the time. Oh, so. fantastic. How are you doing? All I'm right. Reed. I'm Brandy. Nice to meet you. Bill. Hi. Hi's meteorology. Hi there. Military. Oh, that is awesome. Wow. I'm wearing the rest of your equipment. Yeah. Yeah, this is the micro barometer. We're going to try to deploy this to measure infrasound waves and micro pressure. Nice. 
Well, yeah, I bet there's a pressure fall it's inside of the tornado. Really and then we, there. we lost our anemometer last year in a tornado, but we have a new one. We just need to get a data logger still. But, yeah. Or a van over. We can just have a van over cam. Yeah, we'll probably be chasing all night tonight. Maybe up into central That's a nice Kansas, ring to it, and then right? the probably have to yeah, head up toward uh, northern Missouri and Iowa tomorrow. It looks like so. Yeah. Oh, there's that big tornado in 07 back here. All right, two conversations again. We'll get it dialed in. Um, also, the audio sync. We spent like a day and a half fixing it, and we fixed it. Confidently, we confidently had it fixed, and apparently it's still slipping again. So anyway, need to do a little manual stuff behind the scenes every few minutes, but we should be reasonably good. Um, I'll continue with what I was showing you here. So this is the uh, this is the area that the SPC told us about today, and we are. Let's look at the tornado probability too. This is a special tornado probability um, segment for them. This is the 10% area. This means, this doesn't mean there's only 10% chance of a tornado going up here. This means that um, there's a 10% chance of a tornado going up at any point within 25 miles of a given point. It's, it's complex, uh, but it means it's much, much higher than 10%. But as we can see right now, that things aren't really taking off just yet, um, and so we're, we're these guys are they're looking at first of all they're looking at satellite here, which we could show you too. Loading, loading, loading. I'll put you back to them in a second, but right now it's you're hearing two conversations. So we're kind of looking for things to start cooking up here, which which we do see a bit. Uh, but you know we're going to keep an eye on things like this is basically low level winds that we're going to be looking at. You see they kind of subside a little bit there, and we're also going to be looking at surface cape. So let's see if we, let's see if they're still having two conversations right now. And uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell your friends. Storm Chasing's live. Yeah, so, it keeps getting pushed back though, which is good. Yeah, I heard well go eight o'clock, so yeah, fire that's fire. probably more likely. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. I like how interested you look in that, Jaden. How's yeah. it going? It's going. You're in the zone. I'm yeah, give him the eye. How you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to get our vegetables. I got two of them. Nice with the subsonic sensor too. <laughs> Micro pressure unit. We just try to deploy this Tornadors. as close to the tornado as we can. And See, she's a huge fan. Oh, really? She was she was awesome. on Facebook a minute ago, and she goes, "Oh, they're live!" And then she goes, "Oh, I recognize those bins." And I was like, oh, "Wow, oh, let's go down the <laughs> Bill, Bill, cool, Bill fantastic!" Told me they were here. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen a lot of chasers going that way this morning. Yeah. Uh, we also do respectfully ask that while we're chasing please don't uh sort of descend on the area because this is like this is a, a chase day they are kind of waiting for a couple things but they have to check models they have to continuously check like 10 different data sets and seconds count so if if you're sidetracked and and then you're you're you miss the newest model run coming in, it could set you back a bit. So respectfully, we love the fans. Thank you guys. But, just, you know, don't be like, oh, they're right there. Please. And thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to put. Got Natum. You got you to see them on satellite or are they? What's that to the Northwest? Holy cow, that could be it. Those are actually towers right there, bro. 
Those are HCR, HCR south, south, southeast, I think. But yeah, that in northwest Oklahoma is trying to bubble. You can see a wave pushing. Yeah, there. yeah, if that goes. Damn, that would be good. That is. Yeah, Harper County. Ooh. Yeah, you can. Southeast, southeast now. Boy, let's keep an eye on that Kansas bubbler. We could easily go north and get it when it hits the moisture if we need to. That's definitely a nice tower of cumulus out there, west of Greensburg, right? Yeah. You got plenty of fuel? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Moisture? Yeah. It's feeling that. moister out here. Right over there where you're at. Look yeah. The water tower, see that? Oh, yeah. Right over there, there's cart control on the other side of that. Tank. Oh, nice! Right yeah, we got a full tank. We just filled up, so. Good deal, huh? Yeah, it's a Ford F-350 on the inside. The diesel power stroke. Yeah. The wind actually kind of gets Does a pretty good job. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm wondering if that one on the west is showing up. Did you guys see that in southwest Kansas? They yeah, issue a watch yet, or? Yeah. yeah, but there's also that bubbler in northwest Oklahoma. It's a little closer to the moisture. Yeah, that's so why I'm just worried. There's bubblers in far southwest. Oh, okay. Yeah, you think it's too dry on those? They're on the western dry line. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You stay safe too. You know, instead of two percent, I should have been like getting ready to go chase blue skies and two thousand. I thought about it too. Like I was looking at that right about like, man, we're gonna chase blue skies. Where's so. powers here? Yeah, I hope we don't have a repeat of the one we had at Greensburg. Yeah. I was over there for a freaking week. I'm the fire chief here. Oh wow! So, yeah, oh really? Stuff, yeah. Nice to meet I think you. Yeah. Be What's your name? Robin Rose. Robin I'm Rose. Fire chief here. I used to be assistant in the county, but. Nice. Then I got laid up a little bit. My wife passed away, so I oh, man, dropped that. I'm, I'm just a chief here, and I'm a fireman in the county. But oh, fantastic. We've had a lot of county fires. Yeah, you've been battling those all yeah, spring. Yeah, it's been so damn dry. Stand by. Uh, thanks and welcome all. Thank you to, uh, Medallion 105. Much appreciated. Let's get this baby rolling. Never stop chasing. And God's favorite, I don't know. Welcome, welcome to Team Dominator, though. Uh, let's see what we got. Phone yeah. Down. Well, that's good. No one says ready to control. So you can I just turn those on. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I know, yeah. old people here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Nursing no, home. You need to yeah. look and see yeah. where the next mute button and, is. Uh, home again. Home again's where all the older people are, and they take them down the church. So they got to have plenty of. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful place out here. They always worry about. It. Yeah. We're a small town. Six hundred eighty yeah. seventy five, I think people. Nice. Nice. You be safe. All right. All right I will. You All too. Right. Thank you. Where your bubbles at? We'll see. There's one in Southwest Kansas and one in Harper County. I think that one's forming up near Garden City. It's got to be that one out of Woods. Woods County. Really, just still says zero Z, zero Z. Well, look at a surface map here and see what. Uh, this is all the different models too. So you can see how many of these have. Yeah, a lot. That's a zero Z, but it's. That's a zero Z, so it's Yeah, that, uh, that tower near Alva is on a moisture nose for sure. It's like 66 to 68 dues, and then it falls to 63, 64. The so, one near Garden City? Right there, I think, see it? No, the one down here is on Let's a moisture see. nose. The one at Garden City is it's a, is moving into some rough dues. That's what I thought. It's 86 over 56 at Dodge. Yeah, Alba. Yeah, Alba is that good Alba's one. 77 over 68. That's where our storm's supposed to fire. Right? Yeah. That, down there by the You border. see the moisture nose here? Yes. And it's just at the Oklahoma-Kansas border now, and I bet... That thing forms and then goes east. What the hell? 
I can you start to see them now. A little bit. We definitely. Those are thick. See that just to the right of the yep. pole? Yep. That nice crisp white top right there. You can tell that it's thick, and it's a cluster of bubbles. Boom! It's happening. How far away is it? Oh yeah, look at it. See those little white tops? Yeah, I'm all excited right now. See that? What was that? Uh oh, oh, that's good luck. You see it. There they are. Those are definitely towers. In the distance, yeah, they have those little white tops. Real crisp bubblers. Every Tornadic Supercell has to start from somewhere, and that's where this one will probably start. And I think it's probably going to give us some daytime tornadoes too. We got Captain Van over and Jordan here that are breaking down surface map data. Oh yeah, there's that Elba. Um, 79 actually. Go for it, go for it. Yeah. We're uh, out of Dorbit, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. That one over here eventually could go nuts when it gets uh, to northern Kansas. That's probably that northern we, Kansas. We, we right now it's in the 200 SRH. Yeah, yeah that's go gonna happen. It. It's already happening. Damn. Here's your, yeah, look at that. We were at 3K for vorticity in two Perfect, hours. yeah. Moving into that, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect target. You can almost see the moisture nose here, too, with those low clouds. Trucking, so what kind of reinforcement? Is that why you came over here? Hi, Dal. <laughs> I didn't look. I guess that's not this deep. <laughs> Man over looks like a model right now. Look at him. He's got posing, the sun that's in the awesome. background. Yeah, that's my son right there. How's it feel having Reed as a father? Yeah, you know, a lot of people would wish and desire to, you know, come from Reed and have Reed as their dad. I am not one of those. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, good luck. Appreciate it. You too. Y'all be good. Yeah, yeah good. thank you. Do you live here in town? Safe and Reed will be like, oh, right, nice. You're chasing. No, no. So I think yeah. you've only muted trucking. up there I took care of diesel engines, Cummins engines, Caterpillar for oh, a big truck crew. So. Nice. Should get in a chase. Uh, <laughs> usually, I'm not to Kansas keep this time of year, but yeah. I, I, outside the car. I usually go either. And then when he gets in, turn it on. Yeah. Much later in the summer. Mind. Usually not this time of year. Wow. But I have Oklahoma and yeah. Kansas. I'm usually never in this neck of the woods this time of year. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to Tornado Alley. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. You too. Take it easy. Yeah, we got uh, definitely have some towering cumulus that are on a moisture nose down here, coming out of Woods County or so in uh, northwest Oklahoma. And the dew points rise up to like 67, 68 just ahead of it. That shows that we're right underneath that, getting some big surface heating there, low level lapse rates. We have a double dry line structure. We've got a dry line to the west of Dodge City. Dew point there is 56, temperature 86. That's a 30 degree temperature dew point spread. That would result in cloud bases that are a little bit too high. You need a little bit closer to 10 to 20 out here in the plains. And uh, we do have that here, the dew point here. It's about 77 over 64 and probably maybe 80 over 64, which is definitely going to result in low enough cloud bases to get a tornado. But even greater moisture has just hit the Oklahoma-Kansas border. And you can see visually with these low clouds, these little puffy cotton ball clouds, that shows the nose of the moisture streaming northward on an intensifying low-level jet. That low-level jet of southerly wind about a kilometer above the ground is really what causes these supercell storms to tighten up at the low levels and rotate. And we're starting to get these towering cumulus more and more in view as they grow taller. They're not far from us, so those towers are down here to the west of Elba. Elba's got a southeasterly wind with a 68 dew point and those towers are here in that area and they should just drift up somewhere near Pratt Medicine Lodge area.
We could always go down to Medicine Lodge. You guys? I was thinking about that, yeah. yeah. That wouldn't be a bad spot. Cause, cause man. Ooh, yeah. Medicine Lodge is right there on my roads. I guess they're still moving north. Look at that brand. Uh, we're sitting... We're sitting like that. Right? Oh, yeah. That's Medicine Lodge, right? Uh, no, down here. You sure? Southeast of us is Medicine. Yeah, southeast of us. Right here. Not so much. We should go back to Greensburg even. The storms are still moving due north. I, I like that cluster right here. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably go get here. We could go south to Coldwater. We could go to Coldwater, yeah. Coldwater. Yeah, it's gonna go east of the cold water, see? It's right here. It's about even with us now. So that's why oh, I that's a huge plus up look at that right there. Boom. I swear that is uh medicine launch. No, medicine launch no. You want a bath? Yeah. I'll show you. Look at your county shapes. So you got that little that little stair stuff. Yeah, but see down at medicine launch. Oh, yeah, 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 that's medicine launch. Yeah, you're right. I got my stair steps wrong. That's okay. We don't need to dwell on it. That's okay. <laughs> That's, we're cool. Oh, I wanted you to be right so bad. Almost, you're never going to hear the end of that. Whoa! Message. Whoa! We don't need to dwell on it, guys. No dwell I'm on used it. to this. No, yeah, medicine lodge. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Get me out of here now. Yeah, was a medicine lodge. <sighs> 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 I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even want to be right. You didn't? didn't? No. Here we go. Not even. He's Here like, we go. Yeah, I don't want you wanted to be wrong. You don't want to be right. Yeah, I didn't even want to be. Jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, didn't even want to be. Yeah. Oh, my God. Humility is something I was born with. <laughs> like this. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Sierra's like, what? I was listening to what it is. Yeah, I didn't even want that. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch these things won't even. Yeah, they are there, aren't they? It's got to be it. There's a chance we'll just be waiting here for two, three hours, too. Sometimes that can happen. Yeah, we got the Dominator 3 out. We are in full-blown tornado intercept mode with the same team that we had out there last year during Spalding with that intercept. Measured a 60 millibar pressure deficit. You guys, I wasn't there for Spalding. Captain Vanover was there in spirit, though. I was in spirit. He was, was, shooting, was, he was working on the twisters. movie Twisters. Yeah. He was chasing those CGI twisters out there. VFX twisters. VFX twisters are much more fun to chase because you just, they just happen. Yeah, it's it. They're always there. Yeah. Not the forecasting. There's no forecasting whatsoever. Yeah, the forecasting and targeting is not my favorite part. Just drop us off within five kilometers of the tornado and let us cook. Yeah. There are some bubblers out there. Yeah. See them? Can you point them out to us here? Yeah, right now, right about danger. there. They're drifting toward us, getting a little taller. They're still probably capped a little bit, but I think as they slide north toward this, where it's been heating all day, that should help. Hope, is there any surface convergence on there? It should be enough, right? They did issue an MD into Southwest Oklahoma. Did you guys see that? Did not watch. Yeah. Oh, the, I think it's a new MD. Yeah. Concerning the watch, broad cloud cover may limit the threat further east. Continued heating west of the cloud band may allow for additional development into the early evening. Yeah, we made the right call coming up here.
Yeah, these storms down in northwest Texas look a little messy. South of Kroll, our good friends in Kroll, you got a hail producer headed up toward your location. Pretty, that's behaving like a left split supercell there, headed toward Kroll. Down to the west of Knox City, you've got some cores down there. This is all in northwest Texas. There it is, initiation. Uh, still showing it at uh, say, uh, seven. It's just to the northeast side of Woods County, too. That's it. Is it still blossom it afterward, or does it kill it? No, it's still blossom. This is the new run. It's yeah. not all the way out yet. Yeah, the latest more forecast model still bubbles out of northeast or Woods County. Jordan's all over it. Ooh, yeah. What a blossom. It's the latest and greatest models. Uh-oh, I think he wants you to move, maybe? You need us to move? Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> How's it going? It's going. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name Hi is there. Branch, by the way. Nice. I saw Hi. you guys over in Greensburg today. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah, we were out there. Came a little bit east. We were thinking maybe this convective roll could convect. But now we're watching those towers down there in yeah. Woods County. Mm -hmm. sure. Those are kind of gradually coming north, so. Uh, there's some pretty good, uh, a little moisture nose down there too. 67, 68 dew points, and as they, as they slide a little bit further north, it could start to produce too. So, can you hold this for one minute? Yeah. Yeah. Could happen. Yeah. Oh, I think well, seven, eight, probably eight, eight, nine, ten o'clock, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys live here in town? Yep. Nice. Yep. Beautiful place to live. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. So, I have some pros and cons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. that. <laughs> dad, dad was a trooper for 25 years. Oh, wow. Years, my uncle was there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Growing up, you didn't get away with a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right up to the mic. Literally, it was a cool. beautiful right. image. I'm nice sorry. to meet you. Yeah. For mic testing. Yeah, I bet those will, like, something like, probably end up coming out of those down there. Uh, maybe it'll slide a little southeast of you. That's oh, the hope. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are kind of, they're not tall yet, so they're moving due south to north okay. toward us, so. Damn. Have you guys had it? How many have you had it in? Um, we've had it in, uh, we had one, this one in, uh, uh, Maybe like three or four, but one big one last year, May yeah, 12th, wait, wait. Yeah. up in Spalding, Nebraska. Okay. And we uh, measured like okay. like a 60 millibar pressure change oh, yeah, in less than a second. Famous. Hey, how's it going? Oh, nice to meet you. Nice well, it blew apart our anemometer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we were taking the wind from the north first, and it was kind of bouncing in the back. Yeah. And then a juniper tree By came and then knocked off the anemometer. Yeah, we made some repairs in the off season, so back out again. Oh, I thought that was a Texas Longhorn shirt. <laughs> it's intense and it goes by fast. Your ears pop. You can definitely feel the pressure change. You get all disoriented after that, and you get, it feel, it, the back kind of bounces in the northerly wind. Check, check, check. <laughs> check, check, check. You have a red one, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we still have those down in Oklahoma, but they're kind of on their last legs. We need to fix them yeah. back up again. Yeah. It's a Ford F three fifty, so the six point seven liter Power Stroke diesel. Six sevens are the good ones. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, Brian's calling me. Hello. Hey, Brian. America Weather Team's here. You just call me. Hello. Pretty cool, huh? How's it going, man? Good to see you as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is a job. Yeah. This is a job. It's crazy, right? Yeah. No problem. I got it. Thanks, man. He's the guy. Hey, I gotta hand my bike off to you when I'm talking. Okay. To other people, so it sounds weird on the stream. I think. Yeah, you're good. We're trying to figure out how to mute it. Here, we're all mic on here now. We're all rover mic. Okay. I shut his mic off. Okay, good. There you go.
You can, uh, here you go, bud. You can. We're clear of rover mic now, just so you know. You can hop up sitting there, buddy. There's nothing back there. Because that's easy. What's up, Brandon? Say hello to Reed's live stream. Hey. What up? Go, yeah, go scare him. <laughs> this is pre chase shenanigans! <laughs> I just saw a vest out of the corner of my eye. I Moisture streaming in over these trees, guys. You can actually see it screaming. That moisture up there. There they are. There's, there's going. We're gonna see it. There's gonna be a tornado. We're gonna see one. It's gonna be a night illuminated light. Glad I didn't go to Nebraska though. That ninety percent, ninety-five percent chance of a tornado watch, and then nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Brandon Kopic here. Here he is. Move. America's Weather Network. Yeah, yeah. They're this about off good. air now, so that looks good. You filled out nice too. I'm trying. Yeah, man, you look great. Yeah, I'm trying. Like, you really to look do, dude. A little bit. He's dominating. <laughs> Don't steal that handshake, guys. Super it's a very intimate handshake. It is. It's, you feel very, very comfortable it, with the person the, you're. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the tickle, tickle. Here comes the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Some pretty, pretty, pretty nice little strong gusts we're getting over here, huh? They ought to twenty name, miles. They ought to name the surf this low because I'm getting some ripping winds today. I know, right? It should be a named low. What do you think? 20, 25 miles an hour feels like maybe. That's probably oh, gusts over that. thirty. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely gusts over thirty. I'd say gusts of thirty, thirty-five. Maybe forty. Yeah, occasionally there's a couple of those. Yeah. I'd say it's sustained like. Bring the show to us around here at Team Dominator. <laughs> Did we go? This is the show. <laughs> you want to be a storm chaser? I want to be a storm chaser. This is it. This is what storm chase is this all is about. This is what 99.99. Sitting and waiting. There's Harp and Action. These gusts are the most action you might get. My lips are so dry. Sierra's out of the car! Yeah. Woo! More, somebody else I can point a camera at. It's a good point at me. That's true. Call me if you get lost. Call me if you get lost. What do you think, Edgar? I think my lips are really dry right now. Is I anyone guess. else's lips so dry that I, they're like sticking together? Yeah. I just put on chapstick to break it on here. Too much yeah, wind. Really it's a little windy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit windy. Windy, bright. What a beautiful day to be out storm chasing. Blue skies, but that won't last for long, right? No. Probably as soon as, uh, probably about as time it gets dark, we're going to be uh, experiencing storms blowing up. 
maybe right before dark if we're lucky so we can catch them really good on camera. But either way, we're going to be right here live streaming it on Team Dominators. Live stream! Absolutely. Check Everybody coming in and checking out Dom3 right now. What are you thinking right now? I thought we still, yeah. I think we still have another hour or so, maybe. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, but I, I do think that on this moisture nose, we've already got signs of towering cumulus down there. Uh, and they'll head up a little bit further north, I think, then the energy will come out. And I think that we'll see an eruption of a super. You start to see the shadow of the bubble now. Yeah. Right down there. See the left and right edge? Yeah, I can see that little bubble down there. Is that bubbler down there? Yeah. Is that your Yeah. Just yeah. Woods County. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need a little more growth on it, but we got to start somewhere. Is Edgar showing off? A dominated three words. Sites also. You can see we have double leg sand panel windows up here. We have out one, so there's also a call when they send the the windows up too, because you don't want to have your hands out. Have all the, it doesn't have all the safety mechanisms. There's Jaden. Jaden and Brandon. What's up? Hey, hello. Hey. There's Zero. Hey. Team Zero right there. There's the puppet dog. No handshake, Zero. No handshake? Come here, come on. <laughs> she just said, hold up, hold up. Little camera shot. Okay, no handshakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was mad. I was... Yeah, we got a blue sky day out here right now, guys. Uh, that will change going into the evening. It's not a question of if we're going to get storms. It's definitely going to be a matter of when we get storms here. Odds are we'll be chasing a nocturnal tornado event and damaging hail event here throughout southern Kansas. And then transitioning to Iowa throughout the overnight hours as well. There's uh, van overs in the back here. Here he is. What's up? Practicing flying there? Yeah, bro. Ripping on the simulator right now. Simulator. I highly recommend not using this simulator if you actually want to learn to fly. So I'm not even going to say what the name of it is. Perfect. Uh, trying to text me and distract me right now. It's not acceptable. Yeah, bro. Just keep myself entertained back here. Data and Saving in an eco so mode. Unfortunately, this is the most interesting thing we have to live stream right now. Yeah. Hopefully, better warnings, all that kind of stuff. You can see the, you know, all the, the new Starlink mounted right there above. Bringing this stream to you right now, crystal clear, hopefully. Big shout out to Brian for helping make this all possible. Something I'm going to point out to you guys, too. Let's get a little meteorological here. Look at this moisture. If I point at this, you're going to see it just screaming across the sky. You're going to see how fast this ends up over those trees. This, These are indicators of our mid to 60 dew points we're screaming in here right now. As we're sitting in the left exit region of this system of moisture return. Dews are definitely not mixing out too bad here either. So it's just a matter of keeping an eye down here to ourselves. You can see off in the distance, we have some bubblers down there. Um, as that gets agitated a little more, we might even get another little short wave that's going to come through and just really ignite it, almost like a stick of dynamite. And uh, you'll get a couple storms that initiate, get going, and uh, possibly even merge into, get, merge into each other and be off to the races. Wouldn't be surprised to see a mesoscale discussion here very soon. Full blown meet and greet mode here, Kansas. Edgar's breaking down the vehicle. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd take it over for a minute. A lot of rep. Ready for storms, not the school side. Oh, she's waiting for the bubble. People, animals. There he is. I know. When, I, when I'm not holding the camera, at least I get to exude some energy. Absolutely. So I'm going to grab it for a minute. I appreciate that. 
appreciate it. It's hard to know what to point at right now. Yeah. We, right there. That's what we're pointing at. <laughs> Moisture. Moisture in the air. There's so much. We'll point at him. Point at Brandon. Reed's a freak. <laughs> Brandon Coppock, everybody. Three times. What? What are you What are you thinking right now? Do you hear what I said? That's a good sign. The storm, the clouds. You see all the. No, look at the storm. Well, I know I am. Curling over like that. The sheer. Yeah. I always think that's a good sign. Absolutely. We always see good stuff. From yeah, I see that little curl she's pointing out, guys. Right there, a little curl. That's my, I don't know if it's based on any fact, but I always feel good when I start seeing that. Sierra loves those little curls, she says. Wire, all my wiring is warped right. Yeah. Yeah, I put too much conditioner in my hair. Yeah. Huh? Well, that's, I believe. Yeah, I'm going it's for the like, Hulk Hogan look. It's for a purpose <laughs> to be able to get. Do you think I put too much conditioner in my oh, hair again? A little yeah. bit. I just cut mine all off. It works that better that way. <laughs> Hi. All right. My mom wanted me to come over here. My mouth is so dry. Mine's That's all dry I'm too. just like hydrate. Yeah. yeah, it's the wind and the sand is yep. just not helping. I feel like our literally my lips will stick together if I keep them closed too much. Go get me a little drink real fast. Yeah, go do her. See Alex in the back. Definitely some more bubbles down there. That is the struggle. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Guys, we have we have a slight situation here. If you're in if you're parked getting ready to just follow the dominator wherever it goes, please do not do that. We understand that like we're streaming and it's like it's a free country. Um, but it's it makes things really difficult on on the chasers and they're all very polite and they're all very kind and they'll 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 talk to you. Um, but then at, at the end of the day, they they all call me all exhausted. And I, I know it's a weird thing to ask, but please do not follow the dominator. Do not just sit there and wait and then go up we are scheduling some appearances this summer um but now isn't isn't really the time all right thank you satellite using our eyeballs to look in the sky to see if we can see any of those cumulus bubblers start to go up uh right now we've seen a few failed attempts Vanover still pretty salty about one of them back there um <laughs> Yeah, so, but yeah, we're trying, guys. We're just waiting. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be really a right close to nighttime. Ooh, ooh, be careful there. I'm uh, sorry. There's, 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 uh, there, there's, we have spikes that can go into the ground. You just got to be careful what you touch in the front seat. What? Yeah, the knees. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I had to. Uh... Yeah, it can fly fast. But yeah, hey so that's what we're doing. Let's we're hanging on. in here. We're waiting. Waiting for storms to fire, right, Reed? Yeah. Just waiting away, actually. Yeah, we're just waiting right now. Um, yeah, we do have these bufflers that are down in Woods County, down in Oklahoma.
All right, yeah. And these guys are getting a little bit distracted here, too. Hold on. We know audio is gone. There's a lot going. So this this is partially what happens too. There's there's just tons going on, and and the guys aren't. They're not locked into the the models. They're not locked into the the gear right now. Um, they're they're all they're amazing amazing multitaskers. Um, but everybody has a limit a little bit. So again, if you are parked behind the dominator watching this please take a picture and please please move on and thank you mason harris and thank you nate bunn Let's see if we got our mics back up here. You can only handle so much. All right, thank you, sir. I'm sitting there trying to take some of the mic. Yeah, I I have that introvert stuff too. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you guys. Be safe as well. Yeah, did you hear that? Reed really is. He's a natural introvert. And that doesn't mean that he's like socially weird. It just means that I'm also an introvert. It's like when you talk to people slowly throughout the day, you just get drained. Extroverts, they feed off of it. But introverts, you just need to, after you talk to a bunch of people, you just need to go into your cave and kind of recharge. And also some people don't take hints too. I always come across as the jerk, but it's got to be said. But anyway, why don't we look at the wet? Why don't we look at radar here a little bit here? Actually, Jordan's looks like he's got something. Ask, uh, got a question for Alex here. Yeah. All right, Alex. What's your track record with chasing and seeing tornadoes, and how do you feel about it? Uh, it's a painful topic to discuss. Well, so, okay, so I've been chasing with Reed. I met Reed in 2020, 2021. So I've been chasing three years. Like, and I, I, I won't say I'm like a full time chaser, right? But I mean, 2021, I chased every time I could. Same thing with 2022. 23, I was a little soft because we missed some tornadoes early on in the year and just kind of gave up after that. But long story short, I think I've seen tornadoes I would count, not including bird farts, just like tornadoes I've seen. I've seen nine tornadoes. Uh, it's been a year, though, since I've seen one. The last one I saw was Norman last year during, the, it was like the night one. It was the day where it was like the, it started in the panhandle, and it was just ripping like 90 miles. It's a derecho day, derecho day, QLCS. So, yeah, my track record's not good, so hopefully being with uh, some other people besides Reed will increase that. But I feel like I've been killing tornadoes, and I'm starting to believe that there's some truth to that. Because we're here in the middle of Kansas. We should be putting down tornadoes. And we don't even have, it's just blue skies. I'm a good blue sky chaser. So yeah, you guys, I just need one. That's all, I'm really, truly like, I I, I know everyone says, oh, you'll never be content with one. And maybe that's true, but just just give me one, just one good tornado I can fly my drone around. Let me cook. What's your plan with the drone? Yes, I mean, the plan with the drone is if we get on a tornado is to fly around the tornado. And then if it's, depending on like the type of tornado it is, maybe like try and fly through it. But even if I could just like, rip the drone around the tornado, dive up and down the side of it, like ride the tornado. That would be awesome. But uh, this is storm chasing. You guys who want to get into storm chasing, 99.99999% of it is just sitting and waiting and not seeing anything, chasing blue skies. So that's how my storm chasing career has gone, Jordan. Thanks for, thanks for, hopefully that was an elaborate enough answer for you guys. I think that was great. No, no stone unturned. That I answer. should make them feel better. I don't feel any better. I feel significantly <laughs> worse. I think it's Sully time. 
It, we need a Sally at this point. I need a and Sally to OKC get to the just had a wind gust of 58 miles an hour with a little shower that came through. 58? Yeah. 58 mile per hour wind. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma City just had a 58 mile per hour wind. I think we might. Yeah, we're still gonna, we still got to wait here because we're due north of the towers. But eventually those are probably going to bubble up. Do you think we should get down to that other road? Go to uh, Pratt South? Yeah, the Medicine Lodge. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah, let's just go to Medicine Lodge. You want to go right now? All right, I'll go get the crew. So. Yeah. We're going to get the crew. We go get Edgar and stuff. and then. You want to run this while I grab people quick? Just hold that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Appreciate you. All right, guys, so this is what we're doing right now. We are, anyone just join and welcome. We are chasing blue skies right now, waiting for storms to fire. Edgar coming in right now. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoy our improved streaming platform. We're rolling, guys. We're rolling, we're rolling out. We're rolling. We're rolling. Keep those doggies. Oh, yeah. I'm so scared of that door because it's about. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell your last name? B A L L A. Nice to meet you. Luke Fowler. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to close this door. Oh, yeah. Check this out. I think we're going to have the medicine lodge. There you go. Boom! Hey, 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 our our we made it. We made it. You lost it. You should How's be back now. Is it back? It's going. Yeah. It's We're not gonna back. head the medicine lodge, I think. Keep showing that it's back. You see those on uh, the tower over the Havlin sign there? Yeah. I'm seeing, didn't it? Did I want to blow out too far west of that bubble? Hey, Connor, do you like your rav? I'm thinking about getting one, so that's yeah. what I'm asking. It's good. Well, I, I can sleep in it too. It's that's what I'm thinking of. I get a mattress in my back. Yeah. Hey, we so hit it and see if it's back on now. But we see if it's back on now. Congrats! Well. That looks amazing. Thanks. Nice vehicle. Yeah, it's it shows, it shows no, us. we're not. Yeah, it's what, yeah. You're, you're, you're on down there. Yeah, that's the dash. But this one, it turns black on. Is it the transmitter's battery on up there? Or did it die? Yeah, right in north of Woods County on the Kansas border. Yeah, it just ignites that zone right down there. That's towering big time now. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Right in front of Where's he going? With his reds? He's got red lights. No reason. What's in the panhandle? Just convergence. Oh, really? It does look good there, but I bet that's going to do it and go all the way up into central Kansas. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I hope it's not, hope it's not after dark. Are you lying already? Yeah. I have to lie with you. Lie it's with the first time I think I, oh yeah, no, we went to Waffle House yeah. after the Clinton tornado. I was going to say, this might be the first time. I need to trim mine into a mullet now, a moulet. Is yours a moulet or a mullet? Mullet. Yeah. yeah. A mullet right, is a little again? more refined, I think. A little shorter in the back. and. Yeah. Ah, seeing you. All right, well, I need to figure out, I'm good on my end on this transmitter, so it might be the transmitter, the cords on, from the transmitter to the other thing. It's like the French style, I guess. You don't think they like the mullet? Just won't be unplugged. Not back then. Now it doesn't matter. See, that's the east of the good moisture sitting right east of that. It's covered right here. If that thing moves into that. I was just thinking. Okay. I was just thinking the dry line would just slowly get close and then it might blow up. Yeah, I think we got a double dry line. It's back. Really? That, is, that, is interesting. that cluster is going to do it, I bet. There's a moisture nose, too, like a 68 dew point or something. Just that. a 68? Yeah. That's crazy. Edgar! Connor, say hey to everybody! What's up, guys? This is Connor Croft. He, to be honest, the number one in our power rankings that we haven't released yet. There he is. Yes. Number one, let's go. We got that Ohio tornado. We got the Georgia one. Now the Northern Illinois tornadoes got Alta Vista. Maybe, maybe the Slidell. Clinton, maybe yeah, Slidell, yeah, Slidell, maybe, yeah, tornado. I think it was though. I think it was. I think so. Change, it, 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 change your heart. Yeah, I think seeing Aaron's video again on YouTube in high def. 
Right. It wasn't the big mass, it was just that little yeah, ripper. Yeah, some little power flashes here and there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take your wins and you can get them. Exactly. There have been kind of few and far between at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go to Medicine Lodge, I think, and get on that. Let's go. Well, That's gotta go. Yeah, See ya, Connor. Later. Yeah. You are too, right? I'm gonna look. Looks like you're pointed east. <laughs> Oh, we got a follow vehicle already back there with Jaden. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, beyond that, definitely. Yeah, yeah, Jaden's our yeah. main follow. Yeah, Thanks. we just sometimes have to turn around fast. So it can be tough in this thing, but yeah, wow. thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Did you see? Read. Jesus. What? <laughs> turn that off. Oh no! It's so. It's, it's, who is it? Oh. I, yeah, that's okay. That's okay, guys. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, I see. That was my point. Yeah. I'll talk about these. Uh, if you're following Team Dominator, please take this as the opportunity to just let them go on their way. There are, there are quite a few cars stacked up behind them right now. Thank you. Arch to the dash cam for a second. Yep. I got to tape this thing up a little more.
getting a slosh back to the left. That was a failed attempt. Yeah, it looks like another attempt coming in behind it. There's the energy coming up. Yeah. I mean, you can see it shoot. There you go. I know everybody wants to know the location, but I'm just not showing it until this, the, uh, until the crowd disperses. It's, you know, we, it's important when the storms are close by so that, um, you know, the SPC, anybody else watching, um, uh, knows where the, these tornadoes or potential tornadoes are happening. Uh, but as of right now, just because of kind of the situation that's in, that's unfolding, just not going to show the location for a while. So, just imagine this says somewhere in Kansas, kind of south, central, eastern Kansas. I will show the location relative to thing to like storms and things like that, but. We got to get this under control. Anyway, um, back to the guys. Nope. Boom. Just be patient. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Yeah, can we uh, switch into that front for a little bit there, Jordan? Might want to throw that other mic back on Reed, too. I'm to shut that mic off. Okay, and now I actually have something to say here. Um, so we have a new convective discussion here in the area that they are. It's basically like when things are starting to go in an interesting direction, you have these mesoscale convective discussions. Here, I'll show you what they look like. It's kind of like this is a discussion and then... This is a watch, and then this is a like a warning. So it's like in progressive levels of uh, progression. Rapid thunderstorm development intensification appears probable at some point this evening, most likely by 10 to midnight. perhaps an hour or two earlier. Once storms form, few supercells are likely posing a risk for large hail and tornadoes, a couple of which could become strong. Trends are closely being monitored for a watch issuance, which seems likely at some point, though timing remains a bit unclear. Right, so what they're saying is things are ramping up a bit. We may issue a watch. Uh, we will see. Let's go back into the vehicle. Structure out there right now, folks. I wonder how good the WASP model does. It usually does pretty well. Yeah, if that happens, watch None out. of them are showing. Well, I also don't go tell Super Lady either. But... Ooh. <laughs> 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 wow. It's almost a pure agreement of stuff coming out of that. Out of all 18, about 18 different ones every 30 minutes. NSSL. It's NSSL, it's gotta be right. No, not necessarily. I just called NSSL and said we got towers up and down the dry line. Oh yeah, that was it, 50.
whatever sparked the dry line down there hasn't hit this yet. That little wave? Yeah. So there's a chance that wave comes in here and smokes that too on that. Yeah, I wonder if it's a glancing blow. Should yeah. get it though. Let's see. Definitely lining up the dry line though. On that. Made an attack. There's a good chance it just lights it up further west than what the models are showing and still tracks it up the same direction. Yeah, I could pull the dry line even back west. Yeah. But well, they were expecting that slosh back to the west too. Yeah. Like a recovery. These towers are still pretty thick down there. Yeah, they probably should, should rock it pretty damn soon. No, it always waits until it's dark outside, don't you know? Scared of the light. It's like chaser convergence over there. That's Chris Hall, isn't it? Yeah. Is that Jade? Oh, it's Bird. Bird. that down to the southwest. Yeah, that was getting agitated down there on the satellite. You can see it here. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. And I think it comes up out of here yeah. towards Greensboro. Those have got some shadows. Uh-huh. Northeast Texas Panhandle, that's like we thought it was going to happen. That Woods County stuff, that was like a little cap. That wind is trying. ridiculous. I'm definitely turning into it. Red Ripper. <laughs> Vanover's just front and center on the stream the whole time, isn't he? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's just front and center. Do work, do work and pay, do work and pay. Yeah, we're coming back into the MD, guys. We're headed back toward Greensburg. I have a lot of people that we know out here, a lot of close friends here. Hello, Havlin. A lot of friends here in the Havlin area as well. Hello, everybody. Never stop chasing Havlin and keep an eye on those severe weather watches and warnings. We're not sure if that cluster in Woods County is going to mature like the WAFs model is showing, or if uh, we're going to have a, if there's new new uh, towers starting to initiate it in the Northeast Texas Panhandle. I look red as a freaking strawberry on this. Look at this. <laughs> it's it's a red sun. light bulb. It is the sun. Oh, you don't. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I just I don't. Look, I look like a plump. Kind of shiny on your cheekbone, bro. Why is your cheekbone so shiny on there? Look at that. He's got a highlight. Oh yeah, look at that. I went to Alta. I got a little. I got a little ripper right here. It's showing up too. Did you say ripper? Yeah, a little little zip forming. Going through puberty again. That makes a little more sense now in the new wasps. Oh yeah, it's picking up on that line. There it is. Yep. Comes out of the eastern. Oklahoma Panhandle area, probably near Buffalo. A little further west now, guys. Further west? It's not too much further west, right? No, not at all. The wasp is just trying to pick up on anything and convecting it. Just anything. <laughs> any cloud. Any sign. Ooh, I got top, maybe a top of a, sorry, I can tell if it's high base, low tops or not, but. Can't see anything right now. It's so bright. We were just directing everybody's attention on that cloud, and then now it's done. <laughs> Who is that? He's awesome. He's got the Never Stop Chasing shirt and everything. Yeah. Checked. Yeah. Looks like if somebody wanted to wanted to fight us, he could help us out. 
Totally. All right, you take him to the bar. <laughs> It might be like 9 p.m., but time goes by fast, everybody. What do you think storm chasing is? You just flip a switch and there's a storm right in front of you? What do you think this is? What do you think? That's the CGI model of it. Yeah. Can you flip the switch for us? You got to get out here and you got to pay your dues in Dixie Alley first. You got to have about 35 bucks. 35 35 busts out in Dixie Alley, and then you're ready to hit the planes. Then you want it back. You never really get positive, but you ride it right in the middle every time. You could have left at like 2 p.m. You guys realize that, right? Oh, yeah. Hindsight's 20 20. Also could have seen five tornadoes of stuff would have convected to. Didn't have to wake up at 7.45, 7. 6 a.m. Yeah, you woke up at 6. It's an hour and We have to drive down there. there. <laughs> but you know what? It's always going to be prepared every time. Yeah. Never know. Poor Edgar. We'll sleep when, we'll sleep when we're dead. Any new outlooks out? The 3 p.m. come out? Must have come out. 7 o'clock probably came out too. Maintain the 10 hatch. They just hatched the, the hell out of that, didn't they? Just hatched the living shite out of that. Shite. risk for tomorrow. I'm just kidding. Said that's so ca cash. Good. You know how casual? So cash. We're starting to get some good tops on that stuff. We are. We are. We're getting some bubblers, guys. That Eastern Oklahoma Panhandle. My face is red like a strawberry. I can feel my heart beating this thing right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got to play your finger on it right here on that vein. I'm good. I can see it. It's like a Harry Potter vein. Yeah. No, Harry Potter vein. It's like the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! <laughs> Can you say it again? Harry Potter! You're too good at that. I'm not good at that at all. That's just that's funny. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! 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 No, we're back so in the good. MD. Thank God we're back in the MD. That feels amazing. Watch it's out, Sierra. It's, you're it's, it's, you're it's a team now. dominator. We like to give a big shit. You're in trouble oh, now. Damn it, I just got a text message from Dan in there, Dan. Real, we're really disappointed in you for not chasing this. You could have gotten out, at work, out of work at 5 o'clock and been down here in plenty of time. Could be halfway down here already. Everybody, let Dan know how upset you are with him. He's not down here. I'm Game so mad at you. You could have got a great tan today. Yeah. America's weather team again. We're America's weather team, I should say. I would say. We're the world's weather team. We just think that thing was bigger. International. You got a chase there, then. Let's do it. We're going to do Argentina coming up on their spring season, maybe October, November. We got the unit. That Starlink unit would work, right? Yeah. Other countries. But we got data finally. We didn't have that when we chased before. I think it's open to us, it's going west. It is. It's smart for us to go west, I guess. It's pulling all that moisture back, too. It's doing the slosh. 
sloshing like a bathtub, guys. Water going back and forth. And yeah, my Twitter account is at is Free Timmer USA. You know, I just changed it over to that. We should probably make Team Dominator colors that too, red, white, and blue. Just paint the whole exterior of the Dominator. Like Homelander. You can uh, switch it now when I get the rover back up. Get the Constitution printed on the hood. Do you have a mic turned back on? You can barely even turn. But I can't. I'll, I'll get around. I'll oh, get no, around I can't. I can turn. I'm just kidding. You're like, oh, I can get there. I can get there. You need, I think you, you need to hit it one, bath, hit it bath, one bath, more time, sir. For, Sure. You gotta go. We got Are plenty we, of time. Are we stopping in Reedsburg? Uh, well, we definitely have time to use the bathroom. I mean, yeah, if we want to, it don't matter. All right, here we go. OTM. I still have to wipe anyway. Oh, yeah. Let her rip. Right now, we're headed back toward the dry line. The dry line is starting to slosh, slosh back to the west. Excuse me. Heading back to the west, you're going to see a, that moisture gradient tighten up on the dry line, and we're expecting supercells to erupt right at about sunset, and they're going to be moving into a strongly sheared environment, still a threat of strong to potentially violent tornadoes through evening, through the midnight hour, and we're headed up to a potential tornado outbreak tomorrow as well, Iowa, northern Missouri, but first we got to survive the night, Dominator 3 in full-blown tornado intercept mode for the first time this year. Thank you, sir. Did you see what I did at the end? Yeah. Too? Did you catch that? I got that. Okay. Get some of those beautiful Very light rays in the shot. Did my mustache, see how it lights up bright orange in the sun? It does. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, both mics are on now. It's not the only thing that lights up bright orange in the sun. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something smart what to say. What do you think about that? No comment. I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> Go to the gas station that has the cellies. Yeah, I yeah. need a celly. Right I need a celly. I need one too, actually. I need a celly if we're going to be chasing until midnight. Can I just go back to the same one then? Yeah. That, that looks fine, doesn't I don't it? Think there's I don't think they got there. a Celsius in there. I don't there. think they got any celly in there. Can we get a Celsius there, guys? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no, probably not. Do you think they have a celly in there, Sierra? These people are just addicted to the taurine. That is what it is. I am too. I take one hey, of them. Hey, Charles I... Peaks here. I see that. Let's go talk to Charles. Mr. Pike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're going to tuck in. Let's be in and out of here. Yeah, yeah we got to go fast. Huh? <laughs> Let's be quick. <laughs> yeah, I'll go fast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go to Rover. Oh, we are on Rover. Yeah, we're on Rover. Okay. I'm gonna run in and get a drink. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Should we? Uh. Let's put on. Park up against the curb across the street. Yeah. Walk over. Let's park here. <laughs> we can do that. Hey, we switched that camera to the. You want to go front? Yeah, you can go front out the window there, so I can go. Oh, I thought we were always one. The front. Okay. Oh no, we switched one. back to Rover. Now you're good. Sometimes it's one. Yes, it, it's. You're good now. Woo! Got sunset. Yet. The door is shut. I'm gonna stay with the car, guys. Sounds good. Oh, hello. No, I got enough water. Oh, yeah, Celsius. Okay, peach. Uh, yeah, I'll do peach. Okay. You can shut that if you want, Alex. Thanks. Yeah, guys, we are in Greensburg right now. Hi there. I think that it's probably going to develop in that eastern Oklahoma panhandle. And we got that mesoscale discussion. See that big blue cylinder there? That uh, there is an anticipating a watch. We definitely are seeing the dry line push back to the west. We did have a failed. Sorry! Sorry for blocking! 
Sorry for blocking back there. No, no, no. I'm getting a picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm from Oklahoma City. So Hi there. Uh, Jason, pleasure Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I saw y'all were here, man. I popped yeah. it over here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let's talk to Chet. So, um, these guys were talking about, uh, they were going to head west towards the dry line. Um, Scott Sparrow in chat says, I live near there going to say hi. Scott, if you do that, take a picture, say what's up, and then please move on. Please don't engage them in conversation. They're really nice. I know they are. I know you've watched Reed for a long time. Just trust me. Like, the more Reed talks to 100 people a day, like, the more frazzled, because this is the start of the season, and it, it compounds day after day after day after day after day. So anyway, I mean, it's hard to drive around in a tank and live stream it and not have people come up to you. Of course, I'll state the obvious here. Oh, we have somebody just jumping on in. Uh, <laughs> thank you, JJ Heidenreich, for my blood pressure. I look, I get, I, I get it. I, I, I completely get it, and I feel bad that I have to like constantly ask it. But I know that, you know, it's hard for Reed and the rest of them to say like, "Eh, beat it, leave us alone." You know, they're not, we're not, they're not going to do that. They're nice people. Um, anyway. Yeah, chat is going, going bonkers. Let's, let's slow down chat a little bit here. Thank you, mods. And guys, also be respectful to the mods if they say, Please know all caps. It's for a reason. And then don't answer in crazy camel case like, hey, I'm not doing. I mean, whatever. We really we really kind of do have the philosophy of kind of live and let live. But uh, chat was just crazy, a crazy place before the mods. So thank you for the mods. We very, very much appreciate you. Love that shirt. Oh, it's your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my next, my neighbor got it for me. Mm -hmm. oh, so I saw just for a camera story, right? You, you, I know you have to put up this all the time. No, I uh, can turn it around too. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I speak to my own Mr. T. Yeah, we gotta get uh, in together. Yeah, awesome. Here, I'll shoot a selfie if you wanna get in together. Ah, all right, yes. Or no, you can get in the middle or in, in the front row seat. Yeah, <laughs> then I'll be trying to on the empty cans. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> like about yeah I mean it's pretty much 10 years um, probably next week yeah. yeah all right we're gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on these guys we're gonna jump to Connor for a sec I'm gonna give uh, tell Connor to uh, let us know what he's seeing too uh, in that area I'll keep an eye on these guys we will be back uh, send it over to Connor who as Reed said before if the the Storm Chaser Power Rankings came out today. Connor's at the top right now, so don't let his youth fool you or his haircut. Just kidding. Over to Connor Croft. Oh 
fuck it. Come on. Gosh, there were two birds mating in the middle of the road. Two birds mating. It almost took them both out. Thank goodness they moved. That would have been like the highest crime, hitting two birds in the act of, of love. But anyway, if you're just tuning in, we just almost hit those birds in the act of love. But other than that, it looks like we're starting to see some storm initiation out near the Oklahoma Panhandle. So I'm dropping west slightly southwest so i guess i'm not really dropping at all but we're heading southwest south of dodge city just to kind of start inching our way towards those updrafts to make sure we're in position for them it looks like that's really going to be our only play unless something develops further south and we just got a mesoscale discussion stating that we could see uh supercells develop by about 9 to 10 p.m and move their way across kansas with an all hazards threat including the threat for a strong tornado or two so that's the way we're headed Gonna turn right here on this road and begin our journey towards Mineola, which is just slightly southwest of Greensburg. Um, overall, I'm seeing they're starting to look up a little bit. I do think that this is likely gonna be the storm. Right now, it's 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 pretty far west. It's on the dry line, but as soon as it moves east into some better moisture, I think it'll have a chance to really get established and have that tornado threat. Um, but either way, it's moving towards tomorrow's target, which could be a huge day. So. Bro, what are you beeping at? Anyway, it's moving towards uh, that target. So uh, we're gonna see what we can find, chat. We're gonna see what we can find. I think it might be a nighttime tornado, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, we have really good dew points in Oklahoma, working the way north and east, north and west, excuse me, upper, mid to upper 60s even. So uh, I think these storms will have plenty of moisture to work with as we get later on into the evening. Uh, you don't really get much capping into the overnight hours, so that should allow the tornado threat to persist as long as we have discrete supercells. The low-level jet should only get stronger. Definitely have the potential for a couple strong tornadoes tonight. If all things go right or wrong, depending on how you look at it. Appreciate your RAV4, but there is no center line here, so I don't know how you're beeping at me. But 2.8 miles we get to a main road, so you guys won't have to look at this stupid sun glare anymore. Or I won't have to look at it anymore. Even better. But we're going to take 54 south of Dodge City towards Mineola, heading towards the Oklahoma Panhandle, which is where we got that storm trying to initiate. Originally, it's not going to have a tornado threat. It's going to be really high base, maybe big hail if it, if it, if it really explodes, big hail. Um, but otherwise, it's just kind of the beginning. We're starting to see some updrafts, and that is always a good sign for storms, at least. Tune in, make sure to smash that like button on the stream. Would you like to take a break? <laughs> get, chat, get this, get this, chat. Get, guess what this, guess what the rap board just asked me? It just popped up. Do you want to take a break? The rap board is trying to make us take a break from chasing. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, chat? <laughs> oh, this rap board. 
you asked me to take a break from chasing again, and you're gonna, I'm gonna miss, miss your next oil change by about 5,000 miles, car, so I suggest you don't ask me to quit chasing again. I can't believe, I can't believe my storm chasing car would ask me if I wanna take a break from chasing. That is, that is insanity. <laughs> Beep, right on the screen, would you like to take a break? <laughs> nope, no I would not, thank you very much. No I would not. believe that chat. I can't believe it. The storm chase this car wants me to take a break after a couple hours of driving. It's in for a rude awakening. It's in for a rude awakening. <laughs> uh. Alrighty. Let's blast. Mini Ola bound. <laughs> oh, ask me that again and it's back to the dealership, buddy. Ask me that question again. Blackout? No! Oh, we got a blackout! Why is it blacked out? Is it still blacked out? We went dark. Great. Um, let me know if it comes back. Let me know if it comes back. It's my stupid switcher again being weird. Camera wants to take a break from chasing too. My equipment just doesn't want to chase. Hold on guys, I'm trying to fix it. I don't know why it's black. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. It should be back, it should be back. If it's not back, then I don't know. It's still black? Yes, it's black or yes, it's good. Someone said still back, black and I got 30 yeses. Chat, what is it? You're good, back, black, back? Okay, 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 okay. Gee, whew. All right, all right, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. Yeah, the switcher just like, I don't know, it's been starting to like trip out lately. It's not the camera, it's the switcher. Maybe I actually elbowed a button or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, Good thing I, yeah, that's, I guess that's why I have to have chat up. I guess my, hopefully my mom or dad is in the chat and they would text me if it went black, but I actually do have to put the chat up, turn the chat off now. I got to freaking lock into this radar, lock into the satellite and put us in the path of this tornado if it happens. dry lines, little uh, updrafts, meet the moisture is when things will just go nuts. I mean, it wants me to go that way. I don't even go that way. What? There's only one option. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's like, it's only one option, so I don't know what GPS is all about. out of a three-day chasing extravaganza. I guess I should say night one. Got to do... Who's making that noise? Why? My windshield. It's so windy, my windows are like rattling. But uh, day one today across Kansas. Day two tomorrow, anywhere from Iowa, Missouri, Illinois region, and potentially day three across Ohio, maybe Michigan. Should just be back to back to back days of chasing before we might get a little break again for me to make some more equipment update updates. Ideally, Chad, I want to have eight cameras in this car. I want to have every single angle of every storm 
and every in angle inside the car, plus a movable around camera, a back seat camera for you guys. Like, I just want to have every camera angle that I can switch from. So, and you guys have been supporting me like crazy. So that's that's gonna that's gonna allow me to make it happen. That's the vision. Why are these birds suicidal? It's like the third bird that's nosedive. It would be beautiful. See it in the lightning, hopefully. This is a great place for it. So yeah. You can see as far, I mean, not in town, but when you're outside of town, you can just see forever. So. Yeah. It's and the place. sunset's beautiful, isn't it? It is. Do you think I should just stare at it without my glasses? Without your glasses on, yes. Like the eclipse. Hold your eyes open and just stare right into the sun. It's what we've all been preparing for, for the great American eclipse. Did you see the eclipse at all? Yeah, I was in Missouri. I went. Um, Where's those paper towels at? Because I can't find mine now. I just gave him to read because he spilled a Celsius in his lap. <laughs> Look on his side. We were just east of Van Buren. Just outside of Poplar Bluff. Okay. So, yeah, we had four minutes and ten seconds of total. 408. That's awesome. It was awesome. We're, we were in Austin and Reed was in the plane, but luckily I caught it on the ground, like yeah. right in between yeah, some I cloud breaks. I was like, was oh my awesome. God. I didn't, I was so worried I was going to mess it up. What I'm really excited for is in the 2045, uh, it'll go through my town. I live in Parachute, Colorado. Yeah. And it'll be five minutes and 17 seconds in totality there. Take that so that'll be pretty cool. I got to look that one. Yeah. I'm thinking about going to, me and my wife already.
Dodge City and shoot north or something. I don't even know. The dry, all these like cumulus on the dry line are like moving north. <laughs> yeah, that might be the play. Might be the play to go north and just kind of like, because these like, this cumulus or whatever it is on the dry line, which doesn't look like anything impressive anymore, is like, Kind of just like rolling straight north. Yeah, they're just moving uh, north in the wall of the town, so I don't hate that. Uh, just kind of get a busy more options. Because you can easily get south than the north. Uh, I'm going to watch for another good spot to pull off here somewhere, so I'll let you know. chase with a group of people at the beginning. Obviously, you break off, you do your own thing, you bag your own tornadoes. There's like a Dodge Charger on the left on the road, and then like a, some sort of bigger vehicle, Chevy, something on the right, so you see those, you're pretty close. Yeah, you, you make your own forecast, you do your own things, but it's a lot more fun when you're just hanging out with a group beforehand and do your own thing when it's go time and then you have some people to chill and get dinner with after and just chasing with your friends is makes it a lot of even more fun than it already is which is a lot of fun i don't see that dodge charger or anything so maybe i'm not close maybe i'm not close to them all right well i don't see any of those things so um maybe i'm a bit further away than i thought i was from you guys Turning in 1.6 miles, turning left. This is, this is great. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, just waiting for these storms to fire in about six, seven hours from now. <laughs> <laughs> just about the time that we can't keep our eyes open anymore. Yeah, pretty be perfect. Much, you know? No, that's what we I'm do. Just we a grind. Professional storm killer at this point. A professional what? Storm, storm killer? Storm killer. Like you know, it was one thing when it was just with Reed, but I really thought by having Edgar, Jordan, Sierra in the car with me that like they would break my curse of just like not getting any storms that are even tornadic on good just ten percent, fifty percent days. And no, I've like realized that I don't think meteorologists need to keep studying tornadoes like with instruments. They just need me. Like place me out Can in the hatched area, and it won't happen. If we could clone like, Vanover, if we could clone you, I'm just and just. Put you in every city in the U.S. Automatic tornado repellent. There is repellent. enough data to back this. By the way. There's enough factual evidence. Yeah, I believe. I don't even believe it's circumstantial anymore. Yeah, I might have a great mood by the way. <laughs> I'm just but it's true. It is true. Unfortunately. So yeah. Hopefully tomorrow. Maybe yeah. even tonight, but hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> it must suck to suck. It must. That is. There's never been a truer statement in life, right? <laughs> I just overheard. It must suck to suck. Yeah, it would. What's up? If you guys aren't paying attention right now in the chat, Reed is letting us know that he's using the restroom in the group chat. In the group chat right here on YouTube, guys. He really keeps you guys posted. He does. Like minute to minute. Like this video and subscribe. Yeah, 100%. Literally, no one else is going to let you know. Yeah, yeah. You told. You all need to like, subscribe, make sure you're following the channel. Make sure you have those live notifications turned on. 
so you know when we go live because you know it's not only about tonight tomorrow we're gonna have a big chase too we're gonna we're gonna break vanover's curse tomorrow we need to jordan promised me a tor uh, it was a couple hours ago now he promised me a tornado within 24 hours yeah so he's got about 20 hours left so he so definitely yeah I and mean, he can't be a liar if if I mean, it doesn't happen tomorrow if it's another blue sky day like this yeah. like i'm definitely a curse and i should probably never be I should belong yeah, to storm chasing. Field. Maybe we could do some sort of thing where we like wash you with holy water or something. Anything to break oh, the curse. Boy. <laughs> I'm open to ideas at this point. You're like, what, whatever it takes, guys. <laughs> whatever it takes. Yeah, Jordan, whatever it takes, Jordan. Jordan H. Hall. Look how serious he is. He's editing. Jordan's editing. He can't tell him. What? <laughs> I just had you on live stream. I'm like, Jordan's editing. He is in his own zone. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on. Dude. But you got a beautiful sunset behind you, so. Still gets me, bro. Dude, I'm just like feeling the air blow. Could you uh, hit us on that what? front? Ha! <laughs> If I wanted to work for two dollars fifty cents an hour, I'd call. No, it's one twenty-five. Get it right. Okay. Hey, I am gonna be like a logo. I think I'm gonna put America's Weather Team on the side of my truck. Dude, we should like spray them. Oh yeah, they all hit the cap. Oh, you should. They all, they all just yeah. got squeezed right back out. I agree. See the dry line. I think we should just have it. <laughs> Never stop chasing. Eventually, we're gonna have to make a call, right? It's up to the party's choice. Just drive. 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 the cap, bro. I am the, I, I, I've decided I am the cap. I know, it seems like every time you show up. Every time I show up, it's factual. <laughs> we were just talking about this. Literally, for the last two years. One time. Well, there was that one time. Well, like Crockett at night. Right. right. And then the Texas man had See, you're the one probably that calls that chase to a van again. What you think? For me. Oh, I think we're still solid. Wait, wait. Bro, I'm sick of being told to wait. I don't want to wait. But no, I think we still like, maybe in like, Go north, like go towards Wakini or something. Really? Like you just, think north? Just, I think we should just shoot north here, like north of Dodge City. Just wait. I mean, I think we're far enough east. To... For now, like we're chilling, but like I'm yeah, just saying, yeah, in the yeah. far future. I mean, the SBC did say 10 to midnight. Yeah, I know. So that's but pretty rough. I don't think if something develops at 10 to midnight, I don't think it'll even be. I think it'll just be like forced on the cold front. I don't know. Because, well, if it's out ahead of the cold front, there's no reason why it can't be surface based because like the cap is not that strong. It doesn't like the sin doesn't like rapidly increase after dark. Like, no, like a lot of times. No, the sin kind of just stays the same. Hmm. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just, just, yeah. Just, yeah. Dude, I'm like, I'm thinking what Reed's been tweeting is like, I don't even know how to chase these setups. Dude, I don't know how to chase these. They're all weird, They're, bro. They've been so bad lately. Well, clearly I do know how to chase them because I've been, I've been having a pretty good year so far. But, like, I, I want some, like, proper... You're having a good year, can, all things considered, I'd say. Like, yeah. Well, I, like, I don't, know, I, I don't know if anyone's intercepted more tornadoes than me this year. I've got a bunch of bird farts. Right. Bird farts out of trashy like, setups. I don't know. Like, rain wrapped Mississippi. Yeah. Rain wrapped Georgia, like yeah. just like little like suction board sees in the road that like don't even do damage type tornadoes. Power flash tornado in the, yeah, the great, Louisiana. The I don't great, even think someone could pay me to go like see those tornadoes. <laughs> mic back on. Re I mean, reach yeah, mic. He, I just said I turned mic. He said he was going to Connor because our stuff was too boring. Oh, okay. I need to wait. I need to wait to know something. Just keep walking around with the cam. <laughs> Let's see where are we at on battery life here. Sixty-three percent. That's probably high. Welcome to peak season. Welcome to peak season, baby. Did the tour bands even know we were there? I don't think they yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, they did. Did they? I I heard one of the tour guys tell them not to come over and bother us. Do you know who was driving? Uh, Nick uh, Drewson. 
turn your mic back on, sir. I don't even know if you realize I turned it off in mid-conversation. I, 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 he didn't tell you, he asked me. <laughs> I was just like, I saw it on the channel. Thanks, guys. Now it's going to get chilly. You're getting we cold? Went from hot box to like, now it's I see some tops off to the left over there. Whoa! See those? <laughs> wow! Oh, yeah! We're going to have a tornado watch anytime soon, or what? Look how pretty that is. That's an eclipse, guys. Got a silo eclipse. You got it? Are you sure? Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I don't think so. my oh, there it is! Someone's crying wolf! Woo! I don't even know whether to believe you guys anymore. It's actually right now all over my phone. Well, I don't even know whether to believe you guys even. Wow, look at that pretty sunset. I can look at it with my eyes. I know. Should we go a little west? Does the watch include Dodge or what? Uh, let me look. It looks like there's a tower right in front of the sun. Here's our watch. Yeah, go west. Go to Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys we've been trying there. to get to Dodge the whole day. Hey, it's America's weather team. They have Fox on the side of their car. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be kidding me, gotta be kidding me, gotta be kidding me, gotta be kidding me, gotta be kidding me. I see towers in the distance. See them? Turkey necks. Turkey see them underneath oh, yeah, the roll? Underneath, 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 Until 3 a.m. Here's the crisp one. Give me, give me. Give me. Thank you. We might end up staying up all night tonight. I have no problem doing it. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. Where are you Gonna pull those dew points back pretty fast. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We are heading west toward Dodge City now. The it's gonna pull the moisture back with it too. We're starting to see a row of towers off in the distance on the horizon. Towering cumulus starting to show one after another. Yeah, probably going to be a nocturnal event. Four miles, and we head a little bit west northwest toward Dodge. So we got ETT back behind us, even. We're going to get right and allow passing. Lights on, I think. Beautiful sunset out there, folks. It's a 
Oh yeah, you can see those towers now. Oh yeah. Whoa, here they come. Tour van. Way through. Not when I had a tour van. I'd hate to get that tour. <laughs> so no windows tour. tour. I, get free I get offered free candy, but yeah. I never see it. I just... <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, Candyland van. Yeah, we're facing toward Dodge. We definitely do have towers out there. Little ones. Let's zoom in on those towers, folks. There you go. Right over the van. You can see that little dark bubble out to the right of the van. That's it. Big southerly winds. Wow. Better put your nocturnal night vision goggles on. We're gonna get a river How's everybody doing back there? Good. What a chase, Alex. Aren't you glad you came up for this? <laughs> You're chasing tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. You'd be Tomorrow's real pissed if you lost in 20 hours. I will give you 20 hours. <laughs> That's fair. I appreciate it. That's <laughs> 5 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, 5 p.m. tomorrow. That's when we said it. That's That's we said I, I respect that. Yeah. 5 p.m. should be good. I think a fire's only one or two, so. I bet we get one tonight. I plan on getting one tonight and just solidifying yeah. the bet there. Maybe a possible double down on one too. Oh, I keep pinching myself. Pinch? Every time I slip, like put my laptop over, this pinches underneath here. Oh, wow. It catches my leg. Yeah. Like pinches it. Uh oh. See how it does that. Do you see anything on satellite that looks good? Ouch. No one's called the same. <coughs> hey guys, I'm sure you saw this that I was putting up. We do have this right here. Tornado watch issued, and I was putting up the warning associated with it. The guys are basically, they're kind of down here. Uh, but this this tornado watch, uh, come on, tap, 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 roo. Tap. Uh, effective Monday and Tuesday, uh, Tuesday morning. From 8.05 p.m. until 3 a.m. Primary threats include tornadoes with a couple intense tornadoes possible, scattered, scattered large hail and isolated very large hail events to 3 inches in diameter. Scattered damaging winds with likely with isolated significant gusts to 75 miles per hour possible. So now the tornado watch has been issued. So... The next thing that usually happens is storm starts fire. Storms start firing, and then smaller warning areas go up. So we're still a bit away from that, uh, but it is progressing with a tornado watch out. A couple of severe storms up in Nebraska, right? Yeah, I had that. Ooh, it's windy here. Feels like tornadoes. I wish I'd get rid of them. So I get right in front of the camera. <laughs> Hey! Yep. Seems like this thing should be brighter, the uh, deal, right? Where's that knob that you uh, to... See that button that goes, uh, hold that it all the way up. Now, now press down one. What the heck? Are your headlights on? Oh. Are your headlights on auto? Yeah. Huh. 
That's weird, uh, he's like right in the dash. So they're off right now, right? The headlights? Yeah, because it made everything brighter in here. Yeah. They're definitely off. If you turn that knob straight up, they're off. Because it brightened up everything in here. That should be on. Yeah. Yep. It is what it is. Boy, those towers petered out again west of Dodge, didn't they? Yep. Yeah, once that energy comes out, it should go, but yeah, I don't I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> I see have it go until zero zero one thirty. That's right, eight thirty, so about twelve minutes. The one I was running real time IRL on. I think. I'll charge it back up, Brian, and then we'll have real time going. Does that pack have battery left in it? Or is it dead? Is someone grabbing the power pack off this? I haven't touched, grabbed anything off anything. Oh, yeah. I think I could run real time on this phone too. Who? Oh, it's, it's oh. A new one. Now that one will plug in too, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll charge that one. And then this one's brand new. what Dan sent me. <laughs> Boy. You think they're going to fire eventually? Might be 10 p.m., right? I have no idea. I mean, it showed mesoanalysis it's actually showing a cell firing yeah. up here. Or basically dodge. Near dodge, yeah. And then eventually firing out here. On the eastern dry line too? <laughs> yeah, in six hours. Yeah. We'll just have to chase them all. Like Pokemon. Catch them all, chase them all. Does it make sense for us to chase all night? We have to, right? The hell else are we going to do? As long as we make it to where we got to be tomorrow, it don't matter. So. You think we should try to get some sleep up there? Alright. Or do you think we should just chase the whole way? We probably should, right? I'd say so. Until we know if the threat's gone. 
then just roll off. Once the threat's gone, as soon as we know it's gone, go. Yeah. We're about to hit the blue hour. Boy, we stop at those gas stations, it's just game over, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, it's... Can't even do it. Yeah, I have trouble concentrating. But I enjoy it, too. Well, thankfully, we're not I really appreciate it. missing anything today. So. Yeah. I mostly appreciate it all. I never understood this, having power lines on both sides of the road. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to watch, no matter what. Yeah, we are headed west to Dodge, and some of the latest models initiate a storm in the Oklahoma Panhandle again. <clears throat> and actually, the RAP model does have a storm right near Dodge City in about an hour or so. It's like two hours from now, it's a pretty mature supercell. And then it ignites a bunch of storms on the eastern dry line as well. You can definitely tell it's peak season. Everybody and their family members are out chasing. The tourists are out in force. Full throttle. Storm chasing is a, definitely a very healthy community now, that's for sure. <clears throat> but we're pointed west, northwest, or Dodge City. Dodge is a great town. I had an issue there one time where a police officer tracked me down at Applebee's. It was uh, the Dodge City day, I was north of Dodge, and I saw a vehicle with flashing lights in front of me, and I saw like people hanging out the windows videotaping the tornado, developing tornado in front of them, so I thought, they gotta be a storm chaser. So I tried to, went around them as they were stopped in the middle of the road, and then they opened the door to try to block me. And uh, then I realized in that moment, oh, that's a police officer. Uh, it looked like they were just videotaping the tornado in front of them. And I drove like another half mile or so, got real close to it. One of the most insane videos I've ever captured. And then uh, that officer was really angry and it kept building and building and tracked me down at Applebee's, had a few beers. And I like, came to the table and just unloaded and everybody was getting up and leaving the Applebee's. Yeah, it's a misunderstanding. But then hit that same officer blocked Brett and all the other guys that were right behind me. Oh, <laughs> so there was like a line of chasers blocked, and then I was the only car that got through. Go right by. Yeah, kind of, kind of feel bad for that too. That misunderstanding. What's a police escort calls per hour? To Dodge City Sun at zero. No cap. No cap. Yeah. Like no cap? No, not. No cap, no cap? That's a decent hodo, too. Once we, especially when we get a low level jet increase of like 10 knots. 1800 mixed layer cave. Yeah, we want to switch to the rover and show that? Yeah. Might as well, since it's just going to be a pitch black feed here in like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, I drink those Celsius energy drinks and it just takes me to cloud nine. It does. Yeah, I'm going to the moon right now. What are they putting those damn things? There we go. Go ahead and kick it over. Okay, kicking it over. Boom, shakalaka. That's frozen. Is it back? Wow. Not back yet. Yeah, my. Boy, what happens if this was there was a tornado on the ground right now, oh, guys? Wow. Yeah, exactly. Wow. 
trying to be recording with this puppet. Okay. This video really drops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pop. Here, go back. Go back to Puppet and the stumpet. Puppet and the ducket. Whoa. They're getting reconnected. But how about that? If you guys notice that we have had signal all day, knock on wood. All right. And it's still messed up on your cam. Oh, yeah, you went to the follow shop. Perfect. I'm going to turn it on. What? I'm going to turn the receiver off and back on. Mine? Yeah, me. I'm going to do mine. We just had a full system meltdown. It looks like it's back. Something's back. Oh, that's that's him falling. The, yeah, it's us trying to. Oh yeah. <laughs> switch, switch. Maybe it just needs to be restarted every now and then because of a backup or something. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. All right, this is back on. It's coming back. Is it, are we sure it's not two? I think it's coming back it's on two three. I think you're about to come back. You got stripes. I wonder if that's a base and they'll somehow come out of that. It smells like diesel in there. One more hand. Move this. I'm back. Oh. I switched this over to four. Welcome to Ford. All right, so I'm trying to hear it. That's back. Here's our sounding here. Nice. Uh, I think we're picking up Reed's mic now because we have a mic on there. So yeah. All right, so here's our sounding from Dodge City. You can see there's no cap anymore. Pretty good photograph down there too. Special. We show them where uh, the cap is so they understand. Yeah, that. go ahead. Want to point that? There it is. Right there, no cap. So you usually see a little area of warm temperatures just above the ground, and it's broken, so the cap isn't there anymore. You can see that the surface temperature got warm enough, but it does have, it looks a little bit dry at the low levels, but I think the moisture is really gonna shoot up here over the next half hour or so. Yep. It doesn't look too bad. We'll see how it goes throughout the rest of the night. What do you think, Sierra? <laughs> Elevated mix layer here. Yeah. A lot of cave and green. We lost our sunlight, so it's definitely going to be a night to be chased potentially all night. Yeah. But we're ready for it. There you go. 
Hello? Hello? Okay. Man, I already miss Gizmo so much. Yeah. Hope she's okay. Hopefully Doug's having a good time with Giz. Hey, how's it going? You're live. Hey, how are you? Live here. I just wanted to uh, see how it's going with Giz Bizzle. She's good. She's out uh, laying down right now. Really? Did she do a turd? Okay, that's okay. Has she had any hills? No, I tried to feed her too. She walked over, did a circle back, but didn't take any from me, so we're going to try again here. But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, she didn't take any from Marcus either when he tried to feed her. Yeah. But then he set the plate on the ground and then she ate it after a little while. Okay. But I bet, I, 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 I bet she'll take it from you. Sometimes you just yeah, have to. Yeah. I'll leave it on the plate for it now. Okay. Alright, good luck. I think you're in the clear for tornadoes. You got a lot of cirrus deck, a big cirrus deck coming in, so I think you're in the clear. Nice. Yeah, it's been just windy here, nothing crazy with rain, but nothing. Yeah, no storms have developed yet here. Oh, it might be an all night event. Ten hatches have not been treated as good. Yeah, possibility of a bust. <laughs> I'm feeling a little, a little rough right now. Yeah, we could have left the warehouse at 3 p.m. We've been in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. That's How do you like our new live streaming setup? Have you watched it at all? Are <laughs> <Nice>. you? <laughs> Just hang up. <laughs> How do you like our live streaming setup? <laughs> <laughs> Just hung out. Boy, you guys see any candidates out here that could become a storm? I uh, <laughs> don't right now. <laughs> it's a little soft to me. Oh, God. Holy! Dang! Jeez. He's hauling. Probably a car wreck up there or something. Yeah. Not good. When we get to Dodge, you know, we could always just blast north up to I-70 and then yeah. go east and kind of play both. Yep. I agree. Both targets? Yep. Yeah, it is. Like, it would be awesome if we could just like jam out. Flat tail pup here. Internet working? It should be. Might have just stopped. Yeah, it's interesting how these setups are. Kind of underperforming now suddenly, but well, this one hasn't even begun yet, so it could be pretty significant, I think. 
Yeah. No, there could even easily be 10, 20 tornadoes tonight. Yeah, Max and Rusty Archer there. Ten yeah, what? Yeah. Do you have that deal? What is it? What's the deal, Thank you. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night. Might come out of that area off to the southwest. Is that a rain shaft I see? Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, guys, uh, you can see these uh, orphan anvil clouds. Those are some attempts at initiation earlier in uh, eastern Oklahoma, eastern Oklahoma panhandle. Damn, storms are trying to initiate west of OKC now, even. Special weather statement out there. Huh. Probably elevated, but. And there are little showers trying to develop. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is with those. Moving too fast to be surface based. Those are elevated storms, folks down in Oklahoma. Meanwhile, those storms up in Nebraska are way up in like southern South Dakota now. I'm switching the night standard. Let me know if you want me to switch it back, Brian. Nothing on Echo Tops. A little shower out near I-35, but I think it's just warm infection. Kind of see it in those hazy clouds in the distance. Boy, there's not much of a Q field yet. It might just ignite this area. See. This is Dodge, right? I think, yeah, it looks like it'd be. I feel like we're right there on Dodge. That's gotta be Dodge. Yeah, that's Dodge. Coming into Dodge, folks. 
We've got a couple features out to our south that could be some updraft bases. What's for? Uh, rover sitting on the floor. Okay. Yeah, you want to sh show some of those towers on the left? Or whatever they are? Show the clouds? Might be a base, maybe, but... I'm going to flip her over there. I don't know what else to show. Uh, you're out of focus now, just FYI, if you want to tap the screen. There you go. There you go. You can even zoom in on that. Tell them what they're looking at, Reed. Yeah, you're looking at basically a confluence line, little high base, low topped convection or some orphan anvils. But we're thinking that eventually when that upper support hits that line, you could see explosive development of supercell storms this evening. And uh, we're coming into Dodge City right now. There is a tornado watch that's in effect. You can definitely see plenty of solar heating that happened. And you're looking off to the south. We're trying to look for an updraft base, a rain shaft, anything. And we think that once the energy hits this area, it could eventually start to develop into thunderstorms. And they'd move off to the northeast into central Kansas. Might be a pretty late night tonight, late chase. You're good. Thank you, that was good. What a segment, guys. Wow. Wow. That was good. We did it. That was a strong segment. Here you go. Oh, we should grab some dinner or what? <laughs> There's some food up here. Are we allowed to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's our storm. See it, guys? That's the one we got to go for. <coughs> I think that's H triple R. It does look to our north, so we could shoot north up to our Jetmore and Nest City, Joaquini. Well, the main threat was for this tonight, so. Joaquini. Yeah, so we're even with the Eastern Texas Panhandle border right now. Uh, we could head up toward Nest City. Nest? Yeah, wouldn't be opposed to that. They'd probably initiate somewhere out near Garden City. We'll probably be like Jetmore to Nest or whatever. Yeah. Rush Center eventually, maybe. Should we run in and uh, get a burrito or something up here, or what? Do you want to like, do you want to sit down and eat? Do you want to no. Just grab a quick food? Yeah. Yeah. You want to are you guys hungry? I think they are. You guys are hungry? Yeah. We could stop and grab some din din here in town. Yep. You guys like tacos Jalisco to go? Get some tacos to go. There you guys go. Go to Tacos Jalisco and get some tacos to go. Yeah, thanks for that, Mike. I bet in the next hour we get a storm. By 10 o'clock, we'll be on a supercell. I agree. Ooh, that smells nice. Wow, Vandover might have just pooped. Yeah. Do you like tacos, Jalisco?
Did you see that latest HRRR run? Yeah, it ignites southwest of Dodge City. That's where it fires. It probably comes out of that off to the left. Matures near Nest City. So to develop southwest of Dodge, we'll keep it drifting north. Matures near Nest City. Thank you, Mike Lashendro. Thank you. Yeah. Probably don't even notice it. Yeah. I'm already used to it. Oh, yeah, are you? I don't give two shites. About the shite? I love that smell. I just want to I just want to pick up a cow pie and just rub it underneath my nose. Not just shirt. just put a stripe right underneath my nose. <laughs> Brown stripe. Yeah. You wouldn't even notice because you didn't slip out your mustache. Take a left on a wider boulevard up here, guys. <laughs> wider. Things can only go up here. I told you guys the high the the highlight of this entire chase was going to be that far. It was for me. Yeah. <laughs> that was for me, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It's like a special gift for both you guys. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no problem. It wasn't easy coming up with that gift. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. That's coming. It's not good, <laughs> sir. Yeah. Gets you know what we should do with the rover? <laughs> what? If we know we're not using it, like anytime soon, we can always shut it off or lock it and save battery on the on the transmitter. I'm gonna have to switch out batteries here on the transmitter anyway, but just an idea. I'm gonna plug this in what we're gonna eat here. Yeah, the H triple R fires that up. That thing is falling ass. Yeah. We may wanna get up to Nest City then. It's on the way. What's the environment? We got used to that little squeak that comes out of this door. You hear that? Yeah. White tail boat. Red tail how? Chubby old groundhog. Wow. Wow, that's timing. <laughs> Croaking bullfrog. How? How? <laughs> Red tailed how? Here's a how. Hey! That's the uh, that's a that's the one I just took off the transmitter. Now I think we could have a base trying to form here southwest of Dodge, but they're probably seeing that sounding with no cap. And the model. You think, you think you the storm season is like? Oh, I can do it now. Yeah. The one you gave me earlier. We have a good system going, I think, with that. So good work with that. Yeah, I have. You're a legend. You're a legend. God, teamwork makes a dream work. Well, it sure seems like ever since Alta Vista Day that uh, most setups have just been just not happening. Not doing it. Up until that point, it seems like everything was happening. Yeah. 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 A lot of troughs have been coming out, and then they kind of shear out a little bit. This is a perfectly shaped trough, so I'd be surprised if it didn't happen tonight. It's a perfect silhouette, I think, tonight. I'm throwing out the MFOS model. <laughs> the, the moss. <sighs> Waffs. Waffus. No, we're going to we're gonna change your luck. We're changing I'm, your I'm, luck. I we, 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 oh, we yeah. strongly we're, desire for you to move in. We, we oh, will. we're then going you, to. Then, then you can no longer say that. Anymore. Yeah, we're going to. It's going to be, You'll the, see. be the new A team. Team Dominator is always busted hard. They always hit. <laughs> you know, when you hit, you hit them. Yeah, but when we hit, yeah, we <laughs> do oh, hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do hit hard, but we I do bust stand hard, too. Right there. Can we really just do that again? And then 24 hours later, like, did we just do it again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. yeah, it just starts hitting hard. You don't even know what's happening, and then just bang, bang, bang. We're near 
Is it a charged one? Yeah. yeah. Just bam. 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 I'll never forget just like the text from you, like the second I put my head on my pillow in the hotel room come meet in the hallway. You know, we were just like, hey, it's a trusted truck. This might be a tough pull here, guys. I lost the curb. Three, you're hitting the curb. Damn it. You're good. This is a tough pull here, isn't it? I mean, you're just pulling up and crank it right. Okay. I'm going to hang with the car, guys. Then. Take up all these spots. I'm gonna plug my uh, MacBook in for a minute too. This one's really gonna buy it out of the shop. Yeah, yeah well, well, I'm gonna well, stay well, with the. Uh, I'll stay with the stream, and then uh, can you guys order for me? I'm gonna hang in here. Here. So. What do you want? You can put it on this. No, I eat already. I had crackers and cheese. I'm too. I'm not... So be like put you, Michael. Probably. Mm -hmm. be, what do you want? I'll just do the, uh, um, like, five uh, carne asada tacos, or I'll do four. Carne yeah, unless they're really big, okay. but if they're like you know, authentic, like, like street tacos, size. then I'll, yeah. I'll do You're yeah five. four. Four, I'll do four if they're the they're f four to five if they're that. But if they look big, then I'll just do three. Okay. And a, a coke to drink too. A coke. Yeah. Gotcha. Thanks, Make guys. Sure you oh no. Right here. Yeah, it's just charging this phone. Okay. Cool. I was just gonna unplug it for. You got Rona? You also have two plugs no, no, underneath no. your seat. Yeah, it's just hard to fit a computer plug in under there. Uh, if I can hold the rover camera too, I can show some models and stuff here. It's charging right now. Okay, that's okay then. You got tornado coming? Uh, no, not yet. Absolutely not. Oh, you went to black one. Okay. Just because I'm gonna shut. You want me to shut this, Alex? That doesn't bother me. Okay. Didn't want anybody hopping in your lap. Now we got like 3,000 cape here. I put a sweatshirt on. Dude, honestly, what is going to be the logical reason if it doesn't fire? Yeah, just a bit mistimed upper level trough, probably. Yeah. The upper energy needs to come out a little sooner. Could be slowed down a little. I got my beads from New Orleans right here. Oh, wow. Show, you know, yeah. Showing off my there awesome they are. chest. That will definitely solidify it. Yeah. you got to, like, make me wear them so they're, like, the curse of the <laughs> We're going to do, tomorrow morning, we're going to do, like, a sacrifice or something. Like Thanks, Mike. Everybody say thank you to Mike Lashendro. Thank you, Mike Lashendro. Yeah, thanks, Mike. We do have the green light on here. We got a GPS fix <laughs> on the subsonic sensor. I'm going to call my mom, too. You can shut your mic off while you do that, too, if you want. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I'm going to clean this off. Just cleaning this up for you guys here. Stand by. Hi, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> How's it going? I was like, we're going to go see <laughs> 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 Yeah. Stand by, Brian. Sorry, we had to park at an angle. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Have a good one. It just crashed. It's just like crashed. The stream crashed? The phone did. There you go. Yeah, it's fixed. Oh, come on, that. Thank you. Sweet. Did you get food? No. What? You just didn't like, see anything you liked? 
You think there's anything that I like in there? Oh, it's not going to be a bus, Brian. Brian Falls. Stormy JP. Oh, I always do that every time here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, so it'll be ready in like 15 minutes. Nice. You guys are busy, but can I just record? Yeah, of course. It's on TV yeah. Yeah, let it rip. We're running a little stream in here, too. Looking at some model data. Yeah, though the zero one, the the, zero, the one Z wrap does fire a storm southwest of Dodge. It just had a little wind surge too. Is that a little moisture 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 I bet bump? That, that dry line sloshing pretty yeah. good right now. A beautiful red bud out there flowering. Those are the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, holy! You know, I think that we should even be okay with that stream being in. No problem, man. Anywhere else. Because we should be so confident in our stream that that would only just drive traffic to our stream. It should, 100%. Yeah. But I was, that was also, like, I fixed it. But yeah, but it's still, yeah, I don't it's know up if to you it was something ever. to fix. Yeah, no, that's fine. Just something to think about, at least. It's up to you. That's what it, I just yeah. took care of it. Cause I, yeah. <laughs> Didn't give it too much thought, but... I genuinely do think anything that's related to this that goes on over there will 100% drive their traffic this direction. Yeah. We like to share here at Team Dominator. Yeah, good map there, Brian. That's a nice map, buddy. <laughs> like that map. That's a good map there, buddy. Is that... <laughs> Boy, Alex is really uh, flaring out the uh, the package back there, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Ask your questions. Here as we're waiting for tacos. <laughs> we're thinking that storms are probably maybe going to initiate southwest of Dodge, and then it kind of matures up near Nest City to the north of Dodge. We'll probably follow it up near the I-70 corridor. And then we'll likely follow it off to the east. I shoot ProRes. If I'm able to get that drone up tonight and I shoot ProRes, you'll be able to see it. Hi. Yeah, of course. How's it going? What's your name? Reed. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. There he is. Hey there, point like there's a tornado up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, man. of course. I've watched you since, man, I was in You're right. Man, <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time now, hasn't it? Is. <laughs> I was on Discovery Channel. Yeah. Hey, good luck catching a tornado. <laughs> you can't hear it. Thanks. Yeah, there could be a storm fire just southwest of here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I would, yeah. Was yeah. oh, there a storm? <laughs> Where? <laughs> it's a bubble. <laughs> it is a bubble, though. I mean, it's the only thing that's happened today. It's in the right spot, though. That's it. Wait, that Ready? is. There it is. Yeah, that's definitely it. It's 
the one. Yeah, down near planes. Kids met. Yeah, I saw a tornado in planes in 2015 at night, and it was clear as day. That's it. That's it. Yeah, there's a bubble down near Plains, Kansas, Brian. You can see it on radar, and Alex found it. Everybody give Captain Ben over a round of applause. He's the world champ for a reason, isn't he? Yeah. He's back there airing out his package, and then he found the bubble. <laughs> We're back. We did it. We're back. We did it. We're back. We did it. Wow. Everybody's just praising you in the chat. You see that? No, really? Yeah. Yeah, Brian's got it. He's drawn on the map. He did it. Yeah, down near Plains. I saw a tornado May 20, uh, like May, uh, oh, late May uh, 2015 near Plains, Kansas. Nighttime wedge illuminated. I'll send you that video, Brian. I'll text it to you. We have something we can play on here. And this was a nighttime tornado, clear as day. Downloading it right now. I'm going to send it to you, Brian. Boom, here it comes. Two-minute video. Yeah, that storm near Plains. Is it showing up on Echo Tops? Yep. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for uh, you got thanks for watching things out here. Just thanks for caring about how we're doing out here, even, and for wanting us to be on the tornado. Just thanks, <laughs> thanks, Mike Lachendro. Uh, another turbo. <laughs> That's a Wow. Yeah I, yeah, I got, when we were watching the Super Bowl, I got intoxicated, and then I slapped Mike by accident. <laughs> well, on purpose, but I, I hit it too hard, and then he poked me in the eye. Oh, no. Yeah, so just wanted to apologize You almost had to wear again. an eye patch. Yeah, we got a long night ahead. It's going to be a long night. Here's someone that says we now have at least two lightning fires ongoing. Dan, is Dan Fitz. Yep. Yep. It is Dan. <laughs> One southwest of Tedford, Nebraska, another northwest of Tedford. He said there's a bunch of those. Whoa, uh, look at them on radar. Yeah, it was all LP, no rain, just pure lightning, like CGs everywhere out ahead of the storm. This is dry lightning. Wow. Jesus. I told you guys the highlight of the storm chase was going to be that far, didn't I? I bet you it's not. I didn't get this far from being wrong. Told you guys. We started the stream up after it, but you guys would have witnessed it. It would be the highlight for your chase, too. I'll always remember it. <laughs> You'll never forget it? Never. <laughs> I wish it could. It was for me. How yeah. did I forget it? That was, really, that was really sweet of you. Thanks. An early birthday present? Yeah. <laughs> Only we could have gift boxed that and kept yeah. it as like a yeah, box it up. memory box or something. This is my jar. Your exact memory. We should have recorded it for sure. Once a year, I just take yeah. a little and then move on. Oh, I think what made it amazing was how it sounded. Dude, the sound of it was pretty wild. 
Thankfully, the wind, I think, just blew it into Jaden's car, so it didn't keep it over here. I could have recorded it. At least then you can kind of relive that moment. Could have had a bit. It really would have been a perfect to. ASMR one. Yeah. <laughs> just attach a DJI to your shorts. <laughs> just put her in the back pocket there, like a mic monitor. I had a similar thing happen with my nieces. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to tell the story right now because it's... I'll ask later. It's funny. But, yeah, but yeah. The best part was his reaction. So I forgot. What did he do? He was just like, I'm shocked. He was staring at you. Wasn't that his first time meet and read? It was. And he was like, wow. Ah. I was shocked. <laughs> okay, I was, like, sho I was shocked too. And Alex looked at each other like, are you kidding me right <laughs> now? <laughs> he was like, you just are surprised that it was yeah. still going. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're just like, <laughs> yay. <laughs> <laughs> Are they having a the taco? <laughs> the Asian cuisine over there at the market. I'm just glad Gizmo's doing good, but I'm worried that she didn't do a turd today. My phone's fucking Trooper Ben. Hey, Reed Timmer USA. If I ever get a ride in Dominator 3, I want to ride in the very rear center seat. That's the spot. <laughs> Hey! Hey, can I take a picture with you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll head out. I'll step out. Not, not the chair, but there's storms starting to fire out over there. Just be aware of that. Oh! Hey there. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Damn, I've seen you on YouTube, bro. Yeah. Facebook Live and all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. While he uh, takes a photo with a few people. But yeah, it does look like we have a, a little uh, bubbler down there to our southwest. I'm going to pull up radar right now, take a look. Sounds good. Reed's running in the bathroom. All right, so I'm switching over here to Dodge City Radar, and uh, put a bubbler down there near Plains, Kansas, right now. Uh, it does look like that is exactly where we were expecting initiation to happen uh, this afternoon. It's struggling though, um, but I do think we're going to start seeing some bubblers go up here in the next hour or so. That's exactly what that tornado watch was indicating for us as well. Um, your main threat today, as much as, you know, we started streaming hours ago and there's a lot of people thinking it's a bust today, but the main event today was actually supposed to be a nocturnal thing. So this is actually just getting started for those of you in Western Kansas. So please do not feel like you're out, you're out of the way yet. Um, this is just beginning. So please be aware tonight. We're going to be uh, providing live coverage. Brian's going to do a fantastic job of uh, showing you guys and interacting and let you guys actually visually see what's going on and then we'll do our best down here in the field to uh, provide uh, coverage for you and see what you guys can see. It does look like our little wave of lift is going to be pushing through here. Edgar just got back with food. He's hopping in the back right now. It's, good. it's a little windy out there, I'll tell you that. Reed's coming back into this food too and then... Uh, yeah, that, that storm back near Plains, you see that? Yeah. Trying to go? Here we go. What? It is. Yeah, it. that wind's pick. <laughs> that wind's picking up. I'm gonna. You know, I want to see your face when you put one of these tacos in here. Merry Christmas. It's hot. I'm gonna. <laughs> Did you get them hot? No. This is normal. <laughs> uh oh. They do look spicy. I'm gonna grab this can and throw it away. Fire. Yeah, they look really good. Mmm. Oh, they're good. Wow. Spicy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really good. Really good
might not be for the best. Lighting. Damn, it's blossoming big time. Is it? It's about to happen on tops. They're already up to like above 30,000 feet. Yeah, he was moving fast. Mm -hmm. Is this yours? Got some tacos? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm glad I brought some turkey and some uh, bread with me. So yeah, there you go. Sandwiches. That's I've great. Been those all day. Great idea. So yeah, so far today, we have to get gas and money pretty much. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, that's what's up. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe I've actually seen this down there for the first time. Mm -hmm. It might take me a day to actually be like, hey, you actually saw it in person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Southwest here, it looks like they're about to get convective initiation. Nice. Yeah, about to happen. Right on. I saw when we were coming in here, it looked like there was a wall cloud that was trying to form. That's why I was like, is that a wall cloud or a base? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that was a base. There's leftover cloud junk from earlier, probably. Mm -hmm. Do you want to replug that rover back in? You can. I just wanted to get. Y'all don't mind if if I like stay back and just follow y'all, right? No, well, we we have a yeah we have a follow shot there. So, but yeah, as long as stay behind yeah, that. Yeah, stay behind him. Yeah. All right, cool. Sometimes we have to turn at around. Time, I would just feel safer. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I definitely wouldn't feel safer, but yeah, no, I mean, just rather than by myself. Oh yeah. yeah I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, you know what? As long as I stay like quarter mile back, I would think it would be fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. If y'all start going into the rotation, I'm going the other way. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I'll be close enough to the point where if my PC tells me to go the other way. Yeah. One more time. You know, if you're gonna follow the guys. Because you don't, you you feel safer, you know, you need to put in some more time. It's not, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, just don't follow, don't follow Dominator. But yeah, to get refocused. Hold on one sec here. Uh, this is what uh, has Reed's eye right now. Just southwest of Dodge City, these the feed we're looking at right now is called Echo Tops. It tells you how tall the storm is, and we could use this this little targeting laser. We can see that that's this this tower is up to twenty seven twenty eight thousand feet, which is pretty tall. So this storm is going up. If we animate it, yeah, you can see it comes from this direction, moving generally fast, and it goes up. It goes up vertically very fast too. So. This is what has their attention right now. So again, if you are in Western Kansas, Central Kansas, um, just what Jordan was saying, don't let your guard down. This is supposed to be a nighttime event. So definitely be paying attention to weather. Uh, and now back to uh, Reed trying to eat a burrito. In peace. I would mm -hmm. do it. I would do it. Look at my phone. Yeah. Look at my phone. Uh, is it between? Your, oh, here it is. Mm. There it is. A tower. It's a pretty so thick area of forty it. plus. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's gonna go. It's coming right at us. <clears throat> I 
It's going to be a storm. Oh, we freaking did it once again. How, how are we this good? Yeah. We're just that good. I mean, Jordan's populating his spreadsheet right now. He's just that good. He's populating his spreadsheet. Wow. All right, so Reed sent me uh, a video. So right here, you see Plains, Kansas, where the current storm is going up. Reed sent me a video of a previous nighttime tornado that he got right by Plains, Kansas. And I'm going to queue it up for you right now. All right, you ready? Here we go. This is not live. I don't have a graphic for that yet, but this is not live. Back to this. Once again, not live. Need a graphic. This is not live. Finishing up. Is that spreads out too far ahead or no? We have that and that. Can you do whatever. Yeah. I mean, it looks we can like get on that road. It's already almost south of Ensign. Yeah, let's do it. 
Probably pounce wherever we need to, but keep visuals on it. Yeah. How far away is Jetmore? That's uh, 20. Is that a new MD? I can't tell if that's a new MD. That's been there for a while. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's the same one. You're right, Mike. You were right. Yep, Mike, you were right. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we got an initiation, folks. Nocturnal storm chase mode is about to commence. not easy just being in the perfect place at the perfect time all the time we did it once again this is why this is the number one team right here oh yeah how are you no streams up yeah, yeah, I guess it just called me it's and asked me and it, it hiccuped, no but it came right back. Yeah, on. it could be an so, orphan, I guess. Yeah. Pretty sure that's got to be an initiating storm. Yeah, I mean, it did explode really, really fast. Yeah, it'll it'll rocket on the reflectivity pretty soon. Yeah, it has to be. Uh -huh. it. Hi. There's no way on YouTube because we don't have any. Is that a selfie? My stepdad wants a selfie. As yeah, well. sure. He was telling me that you guys were in town. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. let's do Sweet. it. Sweet. Thank nice. you. Yeah. It. Nice. Yeah. Nice to there meet you. Be tornado here? Uh, it, yeah, it's it's hard to tell right here, but the potential's there. Oh, tornado sweet. watch. I've never seen a tornado. I want to see one. Storm's oh, firing up to our southwest, so. Sweet. Appreciate it. Thank All right. Take That's care. Sweet. It should tell you exactly where that came Yeah, from. crazy wind. Might go just northeast of town, right? Wait for that thing to mature. That is very odd. Yeah, because I don't know what. There we go. Some more yellow in the next reflectivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, that guy I'm really not mad at. Came in, got his selfie, said thanks. He left. good this is gonna be a long night guys this is the storm that they're looking at right there this is the one that was just over 25,000 feet now it's over 35,000 feet Let's see if we could spot it as it there it is yeah is that on? do we have a receptacle It'll work, yeah. I'll throw, I'll, throw, I'll throw it away. Thank you. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. It must have, might have picked up that we might be grinding and shooting at the same time, but that's really weird that it was like an arm. Uh-oh, Facebook? YouTube. See if you can just reboot it up and see what happens. You can't, like, Yeah, what that's weird that? though. I don't even understand. Is that a weird road there? That is a very deep. I would I'm gonna go, go around. around. I wouldn't even risk it in that, yeah. That's um, quite a drain. A flood culvert yeah, or something? I would definitely argue that if you can. Can you put that yeah. back there? Totally. I would. Yeah, that's odd. There you go. Yay. Is he is the string pushing through right now? That should be. Well, that sure hit the spot, didn't it? Good. All right, everybody, we've got storms yeah. initiating southwest of Dodge. We think. Um, my stream should be double checking on on VLC here. Let me know if it's back up. If not, I can stop it and start it over. For whatever, it's telling me I'm pushing. Signal out. So, 
You can have what? Jack call you. He was on the phone. No, no, you're fine. Alright, YouTube flag uh, my stream as a community standard violation. Why? Didn't, didn't specify. So I almost wonder if someone mooned my camera. Because I've been hearing like five different chasers saying they've been going around mooning people's stream cameras today. And I wonder if they caught it on mine and it flagged it as a community standard violation. Oh my god. Wow. Tell me about it. It's pretty messed up if they're doing that though. Right? A very windy, very strong surface winds, everybody, as cyclogenesis continues. It's moving into Kansas, that surface low. Sub 990 low, rapidly deepening, and we have believe that we've got storms initiating to our southwest. Oh, yeah, yeah 40 dBZ now. Here it comes. I figure we'll just go to the northeast side of Dodge, but that storm is definitely coming toward us. I'm also open to chasing it. We're gonna chase it. Yeah. You can feel it. Oh, if we feel it. You better jump into the bathroom. It's gonna Look at that top. It's already yeah, got a pretty big top there right. west of Fowler. We may end up, we could even drop to Mineola, I guess, but. It's moving really fast, though, isn't it? It's coming right at us. Thing's probably going to be moving at 50, so we're going to want to stay in front of it. Got to wipe that off. Yeah. Is it still not pushing? Okay, here I was actually about to figure out how to land. I was trying to see if I could pull it up on DLC. All right, everybody, we are just going to the northeast of Dodge. It's throwing me that your input can't be opened, right? We're going to wait for the storm as it intensifies. Flags are just ripping. Look at these flags. Okay. Yeah, we're getting north and east, Mike. Getting the northeast side of Dodge. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night. Get loose. I wish it was looser. I just feel so stiff. Here it goes. I should pop back up for you right now. Perfect. If it happens again, let me know. Just needed a good reset, I think. What was that? Awesome. I, I, yeah, just let me know. It did not sound good. I think it's just the. Uh, uh, Haven't we yeah, heard that before? It's the. What do you call yeah, it? I'm in uh, Dodge. Uh, we're actually going to head up to. Oh, uh, what's that? There's a place there. Near Jetmore. Here. Yeah. It's going to be a long night. We got Chatty Cathy over here. Alrighty. I'll talk to you later. Chatty Cathy. I think it's your stream. Every streams are working here. Yeah, look at that thing go. Yeah, we've been watching it by, for about a half. Edgar and I have been tracking that on the models for at least two hours of the wafts. <laughs> we saw it on the wafts. I tried to tell you it was going to happen at 2250Z. I mean 2150Z. Yeah? Did you? Yeah. It's probably Cameron Nixon planting a little convective bubble in the model. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Yeah, we got storms initiating, folks. You're going to want to share this freaking stream if you know what's good for you. Or anybody that you know in this state of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, 
Share this stream if you know anybody that lives in those states and surrounding states. In fact, anybody that lives in the lower 48, let them know what we're doing out here because it's important. It's a ragtag team of field meteorologists out here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we got explosive initiation as uh, this trough is finally ejecting. You're going to see what happens when the upper energy actually arrives. And if this arrived about four hours ago, uh, we probably would already be tra chasing tornadoes. Sounded like the Beatles there. <laughs> That's a great sign, guys. Yeah. Just an amazing sign. Finally. <laughs> Full harmonization. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Always playing around. Is that what it is? Me, 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 me. You know that I saw them in concert? Yeah. I used to love them when I was a kid. Yeah, interlocking. Really? That's awesome. Were you up there for our band? Uh, orchestra? Yeah. I spent about a lot of, like, probably four or five summers up there. Yeah. I'm actually really jealous of the sunflowers. That's how I learned how to socialize was at band camp. With my fellow nerds. <laughs> <coughs> What? I said I love interlocking. It's a Yeah, it is pretty up there. All the lights right there. So cold up there all the time. Yeah, it is. All right, we're coming up on 283, one mile. And then we're going to point at the storm. It's already a storm because we have lightning. Right, Jordan, power in the rover back on. I'll turn, uh, I'll turn, uh, transmission back first, on. First, first lightning strike southwest of Ensign. Firing up GR. Woo. Nice. There you go with that GR level three. On max. Yes. That's amazing. That is the best software. What a blast from the past. There we go. So we used to run on the Dominator you when have, we were chasing. Yeah, I feel like it's still the number one thing yeah. to run, honestly. Matt with Roto. That guy used to work at Microsoft, I guess. Really? Apparently. He left and then created this. Yep. I actually need to download the uh, runs quick on here. Yeah, guys, we have a storm initiating like, southwest of Dodge. Looks like quite a few people are sitting. Is that the Tiv? Where? Right there. On the right? Yeah. I don't think so. No? You're about to fight them. Yeah, I'm about to get them. Just keep them out right now. I don't Let's get them. They're behind us. Is it that? Mm-hmm. Hard to see. It's another storm chasing Subi. Alright, we're facing toward the storm. We just saw another lightning strike. That might be Connor, right? Uh, yeah. That is Connor. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to wipe that bug off. Do we have any Windex or anything? Paper towel? Jaden's got paper Ooh, towel. We've got he's, more lightning. He's got it in there. He will be able to help us. Oh, I got paper towel right here. Jaden gave us paper. What? You want me to fire it up? This would be a perfect time for Rover outside. Yeah, what? <laughs> you have any Windex in there? Yeah. You have any Windex? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Got a little bug. <laughs> right in the view of the stream, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> 
Perfect. Thank you. you want me to grab it? I can get it. Okay. It works. I got it. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm going to steal that towel for you. Oh, more lightning. More lightning. Now, do you got a little something, 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 something? Okay. Nope. Nope, I got it. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. What up? We're back again. Got some lightage. I know. There's something oh. at me. There you go. I'll just take it from you. Right. 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 Actually, here. I was getting ready to leave. Like I was getting ready to go to Casey. Oh, you was you getting ready to bounce? I was getting ready to go get a little sleep for tomorrow, maybe. And I was like, I was like, you know, even if this does something, my sleep might be a little more worth it. But I can't leave now. Light them up. There's cool. not two things. Oh no, really? Dang, no. we're getting like high tech here now. Yeah, this is a huge upgrade. Give me that light. Oh, oh, it's on. You can unscrew it. Oh, there we How go. CG. Not like some CGs uh -huh. now. Stay what do you CG thinking, medium. Connor? Think, whoa, 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 I'm blind. This thing's exploded. We're over like 40,000 feet now in the past like 15 minutes. We're going from zero to 100. It's happening. It's happening, Chad. Feel that. Feel that. It's, it's happening. happening. It's happening. Feel the low level jet rip. It's ripping. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is ripping. The Red Ripper's ripping. Now I'll turn that back on. <laughs> we got lightning. We're back. Awesome. You're about to leave. Not. We've been our fair share of ups and downs. That's for sure. Should be your lighting guy. There's some light. Yeah, you have to. Right I put it in. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Reed's got oh, his audio mic on right now. Okay. I'm cold. You want to shut your mic off? <laughs> okay. Hey, will you, uh, hit, let's get at the lightning and try to get some lightning recorded for the... Yeah, you want me to hit record? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got a little bit right there. There we go. We're looking to our southwest of uh, Dodge City right now. We're on the east side. Storm initiation has begun here. We got lightning, 30,000 foot tops. Here we go. All right, guys, so storms are finally initiated. We've been waiting in this this dominator for, what, seven hours. It's finally happening. It is 9.42 p.m. You can see right over here, we have lightning with the first signs of updrafts that look decent all day long happening, even on radar, good echo tops. Rain's coming down, so this could be it. This is the this is the storm starting to fire, so now we just gotta stay on them and see what they do. I'm gonna stop recording, there we go. Got a bunch of bolts there. There's Dominator 3 right here. We're stationed here on the east side of Dodge City. Night chase mode has been initiated here.
<laughs> Reed's cold. All right, we're looking to our southwest. Dominator 3 in the foreground with a storm developing. Uh, this could be our target here. We're just going to see how it evolves. You're going to start seeing some lightning that's going to start flashing just to our southwest of Dodge City, guys. This is the beginning of our severe weather threat tonight. We do have a tornado watch till 3 a.m. We're potential of damaging destructive hail up to three inches and possibly even a couple of tornadoes, some strong. So your threat, if you live in Western Kansas, begins now. It's about to go down. I'm actually gonna record this with Dom in the foreground of some lightning. I'll do it in like two minutes. So I'm repeating myself. Hey, we appreciate that all of you think that we're professionals. I mean, we are professionals, so it's nice. But they were all commenting in the chat. They're like, are these guys professional weather guys? Yeah. <laughs> you have to be to be this crazy. <laughs> did you get some recording right there? I did. I Thanks. recorded it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just gonna pummel it with some softballs and break yeah. it in real quick. <laughs> drop that value in half. Pound it. Just drop that value in half right off the rip, so I don't gotta worry about it anymore. Give it a little character. Exactly. First night. Exactly. <laughs> Take out the GoPros on the roof too. Big softball. Boom. <laughs> Baptism right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're getting big hail tonight. That's for sure. Man, the wind is insane. Yeah, big winds. Just been ripping oh, all day. You see any structure in the lightning yet? Not yet. Quite. Nope. Oh, it's definitely looking good on radar. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at it go. A little mess look up. Look at it go. Is there a little oh, rain yeah. bomb on the southwest side? Look at it go. It is rotating. Looks like it's about to split. What will happen is you'll have a uh, left split right here. The left split will peel off to the north. And the right split will turn a little further right and dominate. So it's getting a lot of lightning right now. That right mover will dominate eventually. I'll show you echo tops. Yeah, it's definitely going up right there too. Getting a little closer to the radar. Yeah, you can see the shape. I just went to Goodland radar. Classic, highly sheared supercell. A lot of lightning too. Another one's going up to the north as well. You may just want to blast northeast on this. Yeah. Up Kinsley. Yep. Yeah, that's off the races. That's it. What a nice bean. How you doing, man? What's it looking like? The storm's firing right now. Yeah, so it's headed right in this direction. Okay. It's just not it's just trying to get going right now. Yeah. Maybe a maybe a little uh, small supercell trying to get going, but it's happening. Tornado threat on it though. Oh yeah, yeah, no, for sure. You can see the lightning threats really just starting to go. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, 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 watching you guys live on Facebook, so you can swing in there and see them. <laughs> That's awesome. Get out there and wave. Yeah. Good luck tonight, man. No, Be I'm safe. Going, I'm going home at 11. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs>
It was just like four years. I went back and forth. <laughs> Oh, it's starting to hook. It's got on the radar. so far west. Probably that dry line is right here in the spot. Which means that moisture's coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Look, at Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Moving north east at 50. <laughs> It'll slow away. It. It'll be very bright. Hey! What's up, man? I haven't seen you since Hurricane uh, Mike or something like <laughs> that down there. Good to see ya! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Supercell right there, Whoa! huh? Don't lose yeah. it! Here it goes! Look at that. <laughs> wow. I'll do a breakdown, right? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're standing on the east side of Dodge City, Kansas. We're here behind me. We have a developing Supercell, over 40,000 foot tops right now. Very active with the Lightning. As you can see, it is moving to the northeast at 50, so we might need to reposition here. But as it gets rooted and becomes surface-based, you could see this thing hit the brakes very quickly and possibly even be a tornado producer very fast, especially at this environment. So if you are in the path of this, please just be aware. Weather aware, stay safe. Don't be scared, be aware. That's all I gotta say on this thing. Never back down, never what? Never give up. Say that again. Never back down, never what? Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. All we have to do is just sit in one spot. We could have left at 5 p.m. <laughs> yeah, we could have left at 5. <laughs> we just got here. I needed it. It looks pretty elevated every time I see a flash under there. Been driving around all day, so just park it. 50 miles? Yeah. Yeah. Will you switch it over to the uh, dash cam, sir? Yeah. I think the dash cam is getting the best steady view of that no, lightning right now. Oh, yeah. Amazing lightning on that. Gotta be kidding me. I appreciate that. <laughs> You guys going to Jetmore and East? They're going to take that northeast option. What's your plan, Connor? What? You need some. You going to Jetmore then East? They're taking the northeast option to Kinsley. I was thinking Jetmore. Same here. And then by then it might turn right more too. Yeah. I think so. There's a highway that goes like northeast east. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to slow down. Right. Okay, if they really get through and start planting stuff now. I mean, yeah. it's helped. It'd probably be helped even to the point where you can see it from pretty far away. Right, but the place is deeply in motion. Yeah. Yeah, just trash that brand new vehicle. Just <laughs> trash. Just spray paint, spray, spray paint dominate the side of it. <laughs> spray, did you say spray paint the Red River? The Blue Ripper. I think it's got a bezel if it's already wrapping like that. It's already wrapping rain around the back side of it. Yeah, that's a super cell. Oh, last scan. Yeah, yeah. It kind of like cost a little bit, but. Yep. Hey, Edgar, it's not working. What? You're, it's not. Oh, you it's like door. stuck. This isn't a real <coughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just, that was capturing the lightning a hundred times better than the handheld one. It was no, you're fine. Better. I was like. I was just, you were gonna be used to like, it ain't working, bro. I'm looking out for you. Uh, switch it over to you? No, he's it messing off the rover. That's his personal with the hand. Oh, that's what I thought. I thought it was rover. And I was like, it's, the rover's right here. 
Should I grab it? I can pop it Oh, you can see better with the, the dash. Right now. Real active, we're starting to get it. Low clouds going left to right. Comparatively, to what we have. Boy, the H still just gets it right for some reason. I think eventually I might have to get up the jet one. Really good. Don't miss tomorrow, though. No. Don't miss tomorrow. <laughs> don't miss tomorrow. Yeah. That's why I was about to leave. <laughs> 70 over 67. The damn free day for tomorrow is just like nuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a long night ahead of us. A long day. Yeah. A long night. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been a long day. Complaining that I don't have storms come November. So that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like, you gotta you gotta, get your fix. You always gotta remember that, right? Two months ago, I was like, man, I wish there was some storms today. Yeah, the tower's right over Dodge now. All that. Yeah, let's go to Jetmore. Yeah. It does show. Uh, Gr is giving me a mid-level. Oh, it gave me a mid-level. Uh, Heading out, going to Jetmore. Yeah, we're gonna book it up to Jetmore. Yeah, let's do, do it. it guys. Another storm up there. I'll see you probably be right by. Jetmore. All right. Good luck. That's what the top looks like on uh, Goodland. There's another storm going up here, too. Yeah. I need to get some lettuce left. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Look at this. It's Yeah, you do. It's time. We got a special weather statement and everything now? Yeah. I wish I had that because of the curly hair. <laughs> Mine's straight to the floor. I wish I was 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm 20. I'm old. How old are you, Randover? 24. I'm not, I'm not one of the youngest ones. Here we are. Like Scud. Yeah. Be over that way. Yeah. Switch it over, Jordan. Yeah, you switch. You switch it to the rover. I got it. You. Yeah, that looks good. It's badass. Your arms are gonna be tired by this. No, it's already. Already. I've already. This is my new workout. My shoulders. My arms are just hitting great. Hanover's got the great shot though right now.
pass it back up. It's still pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially if it just has nothing impeding it for it to wrap up north of Dodge City and plant there. Be between there and Jeff Moore, we're going to reach the stop soon. Get a little ahead of it. Definitely spit lightning. Nice. You're not dealing with a mess right now. It's nice to land the super soft lines. Should be able to easily identify the features. Yeah. So they're going to be ripping at speed. Maybe slow down to 40. Did so you get it back there yet? Southeast. Oh, really? Back to flanking oh. Look at that. Look back there if you can see. Jeez. Oh, wow. I got it. Get back to flanking line too. You can see. That's a good sign. I'm going to point back at it again here pretty soon. Probably not. Find out if it's sealed back there on that Starlink. Should be. Worst case scenario, I got flex tape means cover some of those. There's not too many things going on back there. See if you can get that back there. It says you can see the whole thing with the, look at the city lights now. In a light colored area?
sir. Get coffee show. Yeah. Yeah, this is why we can't have too many people following us, I don't think. No. We don't have to make referrals. Hey, can I, do you, uh, I will go, I'll go over there and tell them not to follow close enough to leave, allow us to be able to turn around. The, uh, I'm not afraid. Here. See it? Yeah. <coughs> do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, we're we're I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out. Yeah, I can actually see it now. I think we're, are you getting out? Yeah, you think I should? Yeah. We might move. Okay. Switch it to the dash cam then, so they can see that then. There you go. Looking at the base. Green, look at that. That's green. That's crazy. Oh, that's that city lights on it. Oh, good lightning there. Yeah, look at this top. You get struck by lightning. Yeah, what a blanket. South again, See if it turns right at well, but I just oh, go. Oh yeah, you're right. You want to hand me the thing? I can shoot up out the top. Oh, great idea. It? Yeah, you won't. You shouldn't get struck. All right, hold on. Let me put it on night vision. <laughs> there you go. Let me know when it's ready enough. Yeah. Just don't Definitely see the ball over there. Straight right. Enough. Okay. It's ready. Ready? Yep. I got it with. Yep. All right. Here we go, guys. Raindrops. It's good view. Good. Oh yeah. You're gonna have to probably go north soon. Here, here we go. Come right, down. Switch back out. Yeah, you're good. Got it. Yeah. Oh, man. good job. Dude. Pull that hat. Oh, it looked great. You're back good. in. Yep. Go for it. Nice. You can see the whole storm. Yeah, yeah. Looks good. Looks so elevated, but. I think Reed might have just shut off the Dominator. So it may take like two minutes to boot back up. I'm going to send you guys over to uh, Brandon Clement, who has a great view of the storm with a great camera. I'll go back, to, we'll go back to the Dominator when they're back up.
Ooh, this thing's starting to this thing's starting to rip. Ooh, bowl. Got a bowl. Big ol' like bowl base. Alright, let's follow it. Here we go. over there, chat. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't see any. Uh, he has reached my gun. I don't think so. Do you see any holes back oh. there? Here, bit. No, no. They all look if you need to, yes, here's sure. this. You it's back on. If you okay. find a leak, just throw that over. I have to switch this over. Okay. 
7.3 miles from Chapmore. Man, I wish this was daytime. Me too. NATO came out for tomorrow. NATO cast? Oh, wow. 15 hats for that. Iowa. Damn. Yeah. We'll focus on that tomorrow, though. Mm -hmm. Good to see that. Good luck. To get to Des Moines tonight. Easy. Yeah, big time risk area tomorrow, everybody. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit that notification bell if you know what's good for you. If you know anybody that lives from Texas to Illinois, let them know this stream is available. Looks dark. I'm gonna turn the lights back on, please. That'd be great. Yeah, we're getting some rain up here in Jetmore, quite a bit of lightning. Yeah, you better ring that notification bell, just dominate it. It is dark, man. Our camera is just a little bit flat right now, moving forward, but we're gonna get the Rover camera up again soon too. Get that in vehicle shot. It's awfully dark out there, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's also dim. The phone itself is dim, yeah. so it doesn't shine in our face. It's dark as hell on this, too, though. I guess it looks okay. If you made that full screen, yeah. it looked okay. It looked okay. Yeah. Ooh, the tops are up on the latest scan. This thing's going severe, for sure. I'm using Goodlet Echo Tops, if anybody wants to. It's starting to get... Wait, it's got right. a hook now, pulling in more inflow. Look at that hook. Definitely got a nice basically muscle. almost usable again. Talk about, talk about just isolated. Yeah, all by itself. I almost wonder if we want to see it on the road back there, but this is more important to get out in front of it a little bit. It's definitely happening. It's one of those nights where I feel like you can see like a hundred. Stovepipe. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we'll be able to see it. Might be able to intercept it even. Although, that's. Yeah, so we have some road issues up here, don't we? We do. We can get to 183 and get, go north eventually. We'll have to get it when it crosses in front of us and then go to 183. Yeah. There's also some dirt roads and stuff we can take. We got 156. I mean, it's fairly Look at that. Gritted. Look at the car. You need it. <laughs> What? A lot of cars back there. I figure we can get a little east of Jetmore. Yeah. Face south. Uh oh, we got some sirens coming. That's an amp lamp. Maybe even a fire truck, actually. That's definitely a cop sitting there. Yeah. Spotting? Oh, a fire truck, no? Who's that cop? 
Lots of storm tra chasers out here. Steven Jones reporting a funnel cloud on this thing. <laughs> now it doesn't have a lot of rotation on it. Wouldn't surprise me. Hopefully we didn't get too far ahead of it, guys. Storm moving at 50 can be a little intense. Ooh, zoom out or something. All right, I'll, I'll be on your side coming up here, Edgar, the structure, so I can switch over to your cam if you want. Point eight miles. Structure-wise. Getting a little bit of rain. Was that hail? In the tin? No. We would hear it in here. in the occlusion, three miles to the northwest of Eagle Road and Highway 283, mid about a quarter of the way down, then occluded and dissipated. Via, uh, Stephen Jones via spotter now. Could have been, yeah. It's one person I trust on that. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah, we've already had a funnel cloud reported with that storm. We're going to get east of Jetmore and face south at it. Well, it sounds like the windshield that's making that noise. Yeah, the supercell doesn't seem like it's oriented right yet to kind of go through the motions. It needs kind of a stronger low-level mesocyclone to get an occlusion, I think, but it could be. It still seems pretty close to that radar. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be able to see it, I would think. Some velocity if it was. Okay, ready? Switch it over. Oh, shit. I'll shut mine, my window. Oh, it looks good. Good lightning I just saw. I can kind of use this to see what it looks like too now. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. I'm gonna line it up and then get in the path of it. It's definitely turning right, isn't it? Might parallel that road 156 for a little while. It could have occluded back there. It kind of has that uh, look to it, like maybe there was an occlusion back here and then like updraft cycle. Very subtle, but yeah, it could have. Super is how I Wow, it's a lot of lightning. 
Do you see any structure back there, Edgar? No, not yet. Are we too low? Probably need to... too low or if there's just too much rain. We got a yeah, we got a, there's this little blob here. Yeah, I feel like there's just rain in between us like Pretty surprised they don't have a severe thunderstorm warning because you'd be mixing down like 80 mile hour winds, you think. With any mesocyclone on that. Every once in a while now it looks like I might see some structure in there. Yeah. You probably can see it better on the monitor. Yeah, try to see it through that that ball. Lightning has to hit the right spot. There it was. See it that time? Yeah, it's definitely, I didn't, but it's, I'm trying to line it up. It looks like some scud. Yeah. It's majorly turning. It's definitely turning right. Maybe a, that might be a wall cloud, though. I'm not sure. Big wins. You see that? I see, see it. See it right right the right side. I see yeah. it. I don't know if it's a walk out there. Kind of a goofy little shape, though. Yeah, it is a weird looking. I don't think we can actually see the I main think one. So, yeah. I think we're probably seeing this lead storm. The storm on the eastern flank of it. Still moving pretty fast. Yeah, I don't think it's really hurting yet. You see that on the back end again? I don't know what that is. A lot of inflow or whatever that is. <laughs> Outflow. Low level jet mix down. And that off looks so tricky if you look like a funnel. I know, it's out ahead of that vault. Though. I don't think it is though. That's what you're seeing out ahead of that. Oh, wow. It's tricky looking, but I think yeah. it's ahead of that. Oh. That's definitely you not a yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, see where I paused it there? Yeah, right. Oh, it's tricky looking. It's, so it's very Oh, deceptive. yeah, the first ball, you're like, yes. Yeah, the second one, you're like, no. They're very deceptive, yeah. Uh, it's definitely not. It's on the right spot. That's oh. gone like that, so. I'm gonna head up to Hanston, I think. Right yeah, up the road there. That's a good spot, I think. It might do a left splitter and turn right, too. I'm gonna show, uh, we're gonna show the interior. Look at it. Jordan's radar looks pretty good. Woo! Here you go. I'll give it a pause here and bust it. There you go. Give it up here. This is about where we're at right now. Uh, storm is tracking to the northeast. Oops. Subtle on reflectivity. We're using GR level 3 here. But as you can see, if I pan this, it is moving to the uh, northeast. Possibly could end up doing like a little bit of a left split here, but uh, definitely trying to get it back together. Still moving fairly quickly, but wouldn't be surprised to see it root and make that right turn <laughs> as we continue down the highway here. Nice.
fellow's cars. Jeez. Yeah, I don't think it's service based. Core looks better on Goodland Radar, though. I think it's got a little ways to go here. Yeah. Tops, the uh, highest tops are right over uh, 283 still. Probably see it right out the window if you look south. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry if I'm, I'm going to roll that up a little bit. Sorry. Probably spraying the hell out of you. Yeah, it started it. Got to be Hanson. So you're, are we still on Rover or no? Yeah. You are? So something I could show, tell the stream and stuff. Yeah. A really cool way if you're trying to identify storm, storm, storm structure at night is I like to uh, record on my cell phone and then I can go back in here and frame by frame through here and really understand what's going on. And as you can see, you can kind of see, oh, yeah. looking down there, you see a little bit of a band coming in yeah. left to right. Damn, and they nice. can really identify stuff, especially if you have lightning. Yeah, good you, job. So that's a cool little fun fact and a little tip for you, that guys that are not yeah. very good at or new at chasing at night. What a strong segment that was. That's good. Yeah, big and convective inflow band. Conveyor belt of moisture just feeding into that storm. Big convective inflow band you're looking at. So we're gonna to continue going northeast, get a little in front of the storm, continue to allow it to mature, and might even go north up here on 183 in a little bit. It's got a ways to go, I think, especially if it is again. We might wait till we get to better roads, actually. So yeah. That'd be nice. Here we go. The storm is back behind us, moving off to the northeast. So we're going to continue going. The road is going a little off to the northeast, so we're, it's getting a little bit closer to us. But once we get up to 183, probably stop there and let the storm get a little closer, do some more structure ID, and you just have to time it perfectly. It seems to be slowing down with time, which means it's probably getting more rooted. storm on the southern end is trying to do something actually. Weird. I bet you it breaks off and splits that one off of it. Yeah. 
be really good for it's it. It's almost like it's definitely slowing down, isn't it? I definitely think it will in the next few scans. It's a good flash. Severe warning now, as of right now. Just severed it. Here's our warning box. Weird looking structure. Yeah, if we do have a severe thunderstorm warning. I was just kidding when I said that at first. Uh, half dollar size tail is your threat and uh, radar indicated hail size 1.25, wind threat radar indicated max wind gust of 50 uh, on that. So that's what we're dealing with right now over, uh, what is that, Jet? Jet, Jet? What's the name of that town? Jet? Jetmore? Jetmore, thank you. It's covered up by spotter dots, so can't read it. Going towards, uh, through yeah. that. Chetmore probably had some hail. It's just a question of whether it'll tighten up here or here now. Yeah. Take a look and see what kind of shear we're seeing right now, too. We're getting in front of it, so it's not moving very fast. I'm going to find a place to pull off soon. Sure. I need to outrun it, I guess. Not that easy. was a good option there. Turn it one mile and face south. Fantastic. So it's sitting at about 30 knots of shear, right? Bulk shear, zero to six? Effective, yeah. That's plenty. All you need is 30 minimum. Or effect, uh, effective, effective zero to six. Um, you want to see the surface to six? No. If effective inflow layer, that 30 knots is plenty, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, plenty of wind shear. Bullseye of SRH though, 300. Wow. Bullseye right over the storm. Damn. Plenty of shear for tornado potential at zero to one kilometer SRH greater than 300. Really need like probably 250 or higher, even 200. Yeah. Oh boy, are we gonna have to deal with this? Well, this will be nice because you have a big lot, so you're not gonna get crammed okay. in here. Locked in, you can actually maneuver and get out of here. It should be a road. Yeah, I think it is, and it pulls you can pull off on those ramp bits too if needed. Yeah, you already know, bro. <laughs> Probably cockeyed for right now. Yeah, there. that's a good idea. Should be a little right there, right before that yield sign. Flip back. Uh, you're gonna do okay. that. Sorry. That's Jay. Sorry. Oh, That's yeah. Actually a very There's some good, structure. This is a great spot. To yeah, look at that. Wow. Take it off the rover. Are you on the I got right? front, yeah. Yeah. You think I should go out here and maybe try to get some outside? Oh, yeah. Look, it, is, it is, yeah. Pretty though. It may not be elevated. I've been a surface base. Is it gonna hurt me if I open this view if I open this door? Oh I, never mind. We can't view. I forgot. We got Vanover in the paper mm -hmm. cam. Oh, there's Helen. Johnny. Johnny. Oh. oh boy. <laughs> Hey, Johnny, how's it going? How are you? Yeah, car yeah it sure could. Yeah, yeah, it looks good back there. Hi, oh, yay. How are you? How's the Kansas place? Yeah, <laughs> nice. Now we're gonna go all the way to Iowa, so. Yeah, we could have left Norman at 5 p.m. 
Yeah. Good seeing you. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't want to scratch it. Yeah. I think that base is looking bigger and better. Definitely, definitely rotating. Yeah. Switch over to the rover. Yeah, I was gonna say. Come behind me. Yep. Sweet, I'm gonna go out. Okay, I got you. I'm back to rover. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I like that area on the I left side. Door, I don't know if into it. Yeah. Watch out, Jordan. Is my mic? Should I take my mic off? I'm gonna turn my mic off. He's gonna turn his mic off. I'm gonna turn my. Good evening, everybody. We're just. Uh, look just like down that way so it's kind of elevated on the right but just to the oh I see it yeah you yeah, see, yeah, see it there we go good base it's a good base now definitely there I know I didn't just see it yeah I saw it too yeah yeah here it is it's a little, it's a little, still a little elevated, but there's like a big elevated section. It's just no, a little bit that way. First, it looked like scud, but shut up. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you mind holding this for a second so I can do an as live read on this one? Anything? I'm recording. Is this, a, is it, yeah, this is Rover, okay. Is that uh, no, that's coming in from the southeast. No, no, that's south. Not already. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was westerly. He was like, okay, two to boy. <laughs> yeah, there is a little base there. Yeah, look at it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, we now have a wall cloud here. The supercells have initiated just after sunset. Right about during the magic hour, the low level jets start to increase big southeasterly inflow. And we have a textbook lowering here. Lightning starting to increase in frequency too as the mesocyclone continues to spin up. And as that mesocyclone intensifies and the storm continues to mature, it's dealing with about 300 zero to one kilometers of relative velocity. So this definitely has the potential of producing tornadoes and slides into central Kansas. And we're going to chase it all night tonight. It's going to be a long night tonight, folks, in Kansas. And we've already got a storm. We were concerned as the weather storms would even initiate. But now that we have a supercell storm, it's going to take advantage of this rich environment just to the east. A lot of moisture, a lot of wind shear, an environment that's primed for tornadoes. Oh, here we go, guys. We're looking to our southwest here. That's what tomorrow's for, yeah, right? Yeah. Setting it up. This is the appetizer. You're in a wide, you're in a Who would have thought? Not me. You're, you're at a wide <laughs> angle, right? Uh, I'm going to get up close if you're at a wide. Go for it. Go for it. I'm going to... Let's see what lens I'm in Man, here. Wide, all I can see is wide I'm in 13, so let me go... Yeah, I'm wide. I'm wide. I'm on 48. So. Yeah. It slowed down. 
She definitely slowed down. There's your hail, you can see your your uh, hail cage over there on the right side. <laughs> Wonder who that is. <laughs> there he is. Here we go guys, Dom three. I'm gonna actually get. Dominator 3, you're ahead of a severe thunderstorm here across central Kansas, east, northeast of Dodge City. Sierra monitoring radar inside the back seat, doing a great job. What do you think, Jaden? I like it. Yeah? Yep. Starting to look impressive. I have high hopes for this one. I do too. I think it's got a real shot. I do too. I think it's got a shot. Just got to get going. A little. Yeah, we should probably splash Northeast. Yeah, see that hit. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh it's missed a crazy crawl. bolt right over here. Crawlers are beautiful. There's some good crawlers there. Oh, Fanny was already in. That's a lot of rip, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we'll be there in 37 minutes in Rust Center. Did you get chilly? Me too. I've been cold for like quite a while. I should have brought my sweatpants. What are you thinking? Did you bring any spare clothes? Or... No. <laughs> I brought a couple pairs of underwear. I, I went back to Dash for a second. That's the important part. You did? Yeah. Thank right. you. Do you think we should stay on these back roads? Uh, I mean, they're not terrible, and we have four roads. Don't leave gravel. We might actually get some people to stay behind. You know, a lot of people think this more like Johnny. Thing. Just blast to rush center and get let it mature. Probably the smart thing. Would we just stay on this road and go north yeah. until we get there fast? East and then get to 183 and cut it north. Yeah. It's fast as probably one more look. That front edge, that wall cloud is definitely kind of on that right super cell too. Don't do anything for 18 miles. Breeze might back on when you get a chance. Hello there, everybody. It's not back yet. Hello. I shut mine off. You're back. You're good. All right, we are headed up toward Rush Center. That's our new target, Rush Center, Kansas. So we're going to punch it east about 15 miles and then north on 183. We could have taken the dirt option back there, but without a tornado on the ground, it's Hard to justify getting that aggressive yet, and we're going to get out in front of it a little bit. It is severe, though. Oh, 
We lost connection? No, that's just on my end. I'm not worried about it. I'm just talking out loud. Things rocketing northeast. It's off to the left side, you guys. Can you see anything out there, Sierra, on your side? Do you see anything out your side there? Do you, uh, have you seen anything, I guess? That was a good CG. Yeah. I hit the ground, I saw Over it. Over here? Uh, off to the left, about uh, 11 o'clock on here. Spencer, my buddy from Montana, messaged me and goes, Dude, this is much seen TV. He's just been sitting there watching it. He oh, said, really? It's amazing, yeah. It's nice. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks, he Spencer. He loves it. Yeah. That's you, guys awesome. a t you just got to do a TV channel and watch how you guys work together all day and just last to watch. Nice. He was like one of my chase partners. I haven't, he hasn't been able to chase in like two years <coughs> since he started his own business up in Montana. <coughs> Yeah, it's moving so fast. Looks like it tried to go surface base for a little bit. Realize that line behind it ignited. Oh, did it? Oh, it ignited as a line. I think that's, that's the front, maybe. That's the, the dry line lit up as a, like a oh, line wow. line. Really? Yeah. Look, 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 look at the neckers. Yeah. Or zoom out on yours. Oh yeah, unzipped. Unzipped big time. Is that, is that a Pacific front? Is that the dry line? Ooh, thought I saw a stud bomb out to my left. Oh yeah, you guys. Maybe have the rover cam out of the left side. There's a major wall cloud back there. Out of that base. Can you see it back there, Alex? See that base? They have like lightning popping out all over it. Oh wow, look at that. That's definitely a good looking base. You want me to hand me that camera? I might be able to point at it. Out of this side, looking back a little bit more. Switch it over now? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, there it is. Cute little strike. Thought it looked better than that, but... <laughs> Seems like it's trying to start getting some inflow on this side. It'll go eventually here. It's a late bloomer. Oh, it guy's all over the road. <laughs> Whoa. I saw that. Jeez. I looked up and I thought he was going to hit that light. Someone's looking at their radar. <laughs> Not drinking and driving, sir. I'm too busy buried in my radar. Is the lightning as frequent? It's way more frequent. I think, I think right when I looked at it, there were like bolts just spraying out of the base, oh, and it just looked amazing. Yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't done that since. Oh, there's 
better one. Yeah, it does look a little bit flat. For back front. Influence pulling me in. Did I give that dongle back to you? Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, yeah. How are you? That's good. Yeah. It's definitely struggling, isn't it? Yeah, I think rush center is definitely where we want to be going. Yeah. I don't understand why it's just a weird storm, isn't it? It's like it doesn't it's not interacting with the environment that's there for it right now. Oh. It's gotta be a little elevated though. So. But I also wonder if your greater moisture, like the model said were a little further east. Wait, east yeah, near Rush 183. Yeah, when I was just looking, they had 66 dues east of Rush Center. Um, yeah, it's just gotta hit those two points. So, we're Seems to be producing less lightning, isn't it? A little bit. It's like, ah, uh, Alex Vanover is close to us. Exactly. It's just got to hit that moisture, I think. Maybe. Yeah, it's a dry line, but up, unzip like a. I don't think it'll catch up to it. They're probably gonna tour more than that though, on the draft line. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Damn. On ours? Our storm kind of reinvigorate here.
Good chase, guys, already. Wow. Big time chase. Chase. Strong you chase. Hanging. Oh, you did? I'm trying to shake your yeah, hand. Nice work. Strong chase. Great work, guys. It is starting to feed in some new echoes into that southern edge of that. I bet you it goes eventually. Just waiting for us to get yeah. out. Boy, it did have a wall cloud when we stopped back there. About to turn back north, folks, toward Rosh Center. Three miles. Insert a little ad in there. <laughs> Sponsored. That's a thousand dollars every time I say it. Just... The Klondike bars would be such a legit sponsorship. <laughs> what would you do? What nice. would I do for a Klondike bar? Oh. Good on chatter. Getting uh, thinking that the uh, straight ahead view they're getting sleepy. Are uh, you? Yeah. They are. Oh, they uh, I just saw, saw comments on there in the live. Well, don't Figured I'd mix up the camera Where angle a little bit. Where'd you go? Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig Barely see us on there. Hey guys. Yeah, we are headed north toward Rush Center in a couple of miles. Oh, yeah. But that lights oh, us up. Oh, oh, oh. That should light us up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I will. Damn, nice work. Looks bright on there. Is this still sending a bright one? Yeah, like they even lit up the back seat. Back oh, it there, is. So nice. It's good now. Man, I was just sitting in like the shadow. <laughs> All right, point five. Let's head north. Head north on 183. Here we go. Turn Rush Center. Here we go, guys. Right, turn left, going north on Rush Center. Stay sharp, everybody. Stay focused. It could go from zero to a hundred in the blink of an eye out here. Quickly, actually. Maybe. Left turn ahead. Well, you guys don't think it looks very good, favorable to you? I do. No, I thought I heard some chatter from the back seat. Oh, yeah. oh I didn't hear that. I said I've never seen a better looking school in my life. I thought I heard some chatter back there. Yeah, the NWS chat's going down in the back seat. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like, oh, I heard this thing looks no like like this thing looks like trash. Oh, they're right. <laughs> Maybe that southern one. That southern one could be a mesocyclone, right? Maybe. Right here. Find out. Yeah, I like that little. It's got a little, little beam down there. Yeah. You can see it's got that little. Yeah, it it's does. In the right spot too, if it was. Trust me. Up well, I feel like that's definitely something. If you go from that radar, it's just a little bit further out. You can kind of see a little bit more. I think about the rotation. You know where? To the right. 
radar, new radar site. The radar site to the right. Oh, you want me to go to that radar site? Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. right. It's been. Yeah. That's good job. What a nice good maneuver. Eye. That's a strong segment. Dynamically strong yeah. segment, guys. Dynamic pipe segment. Strong segment, guys. Good. A lot of meteorology happening in this vehicle. It's no lightning anymore. <laughs> Lightning is completely gone. So if I hit the light switch, I know. Turn it off. Well, you can keep it on back there, you guys. Don't get shy. Don't get shy back there. Just illuminate. I'm eclipsing Vanover nonstop. Yeah, those tops look a little bit lower, but. Boy, I don't know, guys. It's got to absorb a couple of those showers first. Turn that on. I just want to see how it turns out blurry. The honey you out there, That actually didn't turn. Actually, perfect. See a potential safety situation here. Yeah, too. Try to identify those way in advance. That was one. Pull off the road a little further. That bumps them outside of the top 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're coming up with the Storm Chaser Power Rankings. Who do you guys think should be ranked number one? You think it should be Jordan H. Hall, Sarah Lindsay 3, Captain Vanover? Yeah. Vanover gets a, a high talent score, but a little bit lower of an effort score so far this year until he came in. <laughs> or could it be Edgar O'Neill? Or Connor Croft? Seen a lot of tornadoes. Seen Ohio. You saw that one down in Georgia. Almost got St. Augustine. Maybe Chris Florida tornadoes on the board with that uh, tornado recently in St. Augustine. You also got the crew that saw the Sagerton tornadoes. Try not warning back. Just kidding. Yeah. Get you that time. Just stone face after that. You stood. Steve Austin. Yeah. I do like the way that's starting to shape, shape though. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll absorb that little super shower. You split, shoot that, split it off up there. Turn right. Monitor straight in. Yeah. Well, that's why it looks like that. It's because it's, it's ingesting that rain shower to the south. Lightning. That's kind of pleading with it. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Transport some heat. Yes. Yeah. Center 
Yeah, it sure is trying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm looking at it like, oh. Yeah. We can shear that stuff off and kind of turn right and go right towards Rush Center. It'd be kind of a last gasp. So glad we rolled the Dominator 3 out for this. Perfect. Perfect debut chase. <laughs> so much anxiety over it, too. I'm so glad for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. As long as you're happy. That's good. <laughs> Can't lose with you guys. <laughs> wow. And once again, the highlight of this chase was what? The fart. Yeah, the fart. it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was for Sierra. Yeah. Yeah. I held it in all day just for that moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For that guy I just met. <laughs> You'll never forget that. You'll be like my idol literally just like blessed me with this. Was he just going crazy when it happened? That's I'm pretty excited. Because I saw the reaction. He went stuck back. Yeah. <laughs> Had to take it in for a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> How did you guys not react? Because it was so funny. Yeah. It was like in the process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys weren't sure if it was real or not, probably, because it. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's like the world, but it's I wish I did that on stream. Or did I? Uh, we might have been on stream, right? No, we weren't streaming yet. Damn. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's one of them for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I've thought about it all day ever since. It's like, damn, that was the highlight of the day. Yeah. It tickled my tickled my belly button from the inside. Do you see something out there? Watch that lightning's picking up over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think we've got a miso vortex out there. It did drop the severe warning for now, guys. Wow. If nothing happens by a 70, I think we just go east. Oh, we're heading in the right direction already. That's true. Very true. We'll type in Des Moines real quick anyway, just to make sure. Des Moines. Oh. How far? Seven hours. That ain't bad. Wow. Tiny hill core is trying to pop out again. Yeah, it is. Getting a better hill core. Out, 
probably even get four hours of sleep once we get there. One of those where you check into the hotel at 6 a.m. and then sleep and then come back to it and sleep again. <laughs> Two for the price of one. Per. That's what Tom Bodette said. Tom Bodette said two for the price of one. We'll leave the light on for you. We serve coffee till 9 a.m. Hi, I'm to Tom Bodette. We'll leave the light on for you. Even till 6 a.m. Uh-oh. What did I do? Yeah, you're really speeding. Going too fast? Probably. Oh, no, it's Brandon Copper. Oh, oh it's a sheriff. sheriff. No, you're going way too fast. Really? Yeah. What's the speed limit? Apparently not that, but... I'm was, not speeding. He was giving you a courtesy flash. Pretty sure I was going 60. He might have just been saying hi to us. No, I don't think he even knew who you were being that far away. He, he had you on radar. Jaden just said LOL. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was only going 60, 65. We're ripping a little too uh -oh. hard, I guess. <laughs> I was not. I swear to you, I was not. I think you're just saying hi. Oh, maybe I guess. That's what I think. It is getting a little bit better of a hill core, but I'm not even sure if it's surface space. Are the echo tops up on it? It's getting really stretched out now. Did you see that? It's uh, 30 oh. feet, 30,000. Definitely not 40,000 like it was. Yeah. It's trying to get something going on that southwest side. As it's, it's so low topped, it's like moving north northwest now. Low level jets taking it. You go down a hill, you just see all these headlights come over the hill. Like, it's just, like an army's falling on you. Like, when we come down this hill, it's going to be hilarious looking back. It is producing some more lightning as we're coming into Rush Center. Is that a lowering to the west? Find a good place to pull over. Point at it over here, I guess. Oh, there is some tags. Got it. Yeah, now you can look back there and just see them all coming over the hill. Walnut Creek. Flip it around. <sighs> Seems like we're getting more lightning again. We are. Just looking for a little pull off.
Waiting for the lightning strike. cover. Yeah, you can definitely see a base out there, but yeah. They did get a lightning strike there, guys. I think that might get, I think they could put the, the compressor could put me to sleep. It's almost like white noise. Like pulsating. I know, I like Yeah, this is definitely petering out, guys. It's chilling up. Say, it feels quite chilly with the wind blowing. <laughs> I wonder what happened to this. Yeah, there is some rotation embedded in that line. Definitely, it looks like it's all a little bit behind the front, though. Connor found a prairie rattlesnake. Did he? Where? Yeah, just tonight. Brian says we haven't dropped signal once the whole stream. That That's is awesome. phenomenal. That says something. Dude, that is great. Yeah. Awesome. I've been watching the signal back here too. Like we've been like really high bit rate the whole time. Tony Lee Wright. Thank you. Thank you for a thousand stars. Thank you, Tony Lee Wright. Thank you, Lori Lynn Taylor. Tony Lee Wright again. Thank you on Facebook. Damn, man, you're Alexander. Well, it's probably time to go. I agree. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I can't tell. Back to Des Moines? Yep. That is a storm shelter, isn't it? Yeah. We drove all this way for it.
a single tornado warning, eh? What a 10 hatch. I think you have to put the 10 hatch out just because the shear is so high. I mean, that could be an outbreak of weak tornadoes. Possible to have no tornadoes, certainly. The storm over Alexander, Kansas is still off to our west. Storm chasers? Uh, shop there, sure. Yeah, there's one right there, too. <sighs> yeah, everybody. It is looking a little bit bleak out here. Over Alexander, though, uh, there is a little super shower. It's not even really producing any lightning too much anymore. That was supposed to be our renegade. We've been chasing it all the way from southwest of Dodge, just a little blip, all the way up toward La Crosse. NATO cast looks pretty crazy tomorrow. So it didn't seem like there's two that many chasers out today. I wonder how many are going to make it from the Southern Plains up to Iowa. It's like a wall cloud in front of us, but I don't think it is. New mesoscale discussion now. The concerning tornado watch. An increasing risk for damaging wind gusts and a few tornadoes appears probable with an intensifying line of thunderstorms across western into central Kansas into south central Nebraska through 1 to 2 a.m. A strong cyclonic upper jet streak continues to nose across the southern Rockies through the south central high plains with the latest rapid refresh, fresh, suggesting speeds now in the process of strengthening from 80 to 90 plus knots. That's across the Texas Panhandle and the northwest Oklahoma. Strong mid level cooling in the exit region of this feature, which is what we were targeting, including 500 millibar temperatures decreasing from minus 20 to minus 22. Is forecast to overspread the stalling dry line across western Kansas between midnight and 2 a.m., contributing to weakening of lingering mid level inhibition, further destabilization, and more rapid thunderstorm intensification. Persistence of the ongoing isolated supercell now approaching the Hayes Russell vicinity within the narrow corridor of moderate potential instability ahead of the dry line remains unclear. A further intensification of the linear structure along the dry line emerging cold fronts now west of Hill City and areas of Garden City appears probable. Several low-level cyclonic mesocirculations have already been noted in the presence of enlarged clockwise curved low-level hodographs beneath a 50 to 60 knot southerly low-level jet. Almost to 60 knots, folks. That's big. That's like a strong tropical storm up there. With further weakening of inhibition and release of Cape in excess of 2,000, rapid thunderstorm intensification may be accompanied by an increasing risk of tornadoes damaging wind gusts within the next few hours. Stay sharp. We are. 
Should I head up to Hayes and then head east on 70 or take this right road through Russell? Uh, Whatever's fastest. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll go through Russell. But we could get up to that line if I go straight through Hayes. I'm near Joaquini. Look at that. See this circulation down here, I northeast of Utica? Yeah, I saw that earlier. It's definitely there. Oh, is he? That's amazing he can snore like that. Get the camera on him, like zoom right into his palette. It's a light him up full brightness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a tax bill marker. I still have it at three. What do you think? Keep going? Toward uh, Hayes? Go to Hayes, go east on that. Is that 70? Yeah. yeah. I keep up with that line. It wants me to go east and north up through Russell. It's a little faster, but if, that, if that's what it tells you to do that, then whatever, because it'll if that's fast, it'll do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's only three minutes. That's all right, guys, we're going to Hayes. Get ahead of that convective line with meso circulations within it. It's closing in on Wakini. Another stronger storm up to the north of Quinter right now that could go severe. See a lot of lightning in that distance with that line. So we're headed up to Hayes. There's a fantastic Walmart up there. Yeah, that bubble around near Weatherford has been trying to go up all day. At about 45 dBZ now. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of the energy is coming up here toward Kansas and southern Nebraska right now. Yeah, that line is definitely intensifying to our northwest. You see that? Yeah. I wonder what that job will do. snoring back there right now which is good he needs to get his sleep it's very important what do you think you gotta be able to keep that reaction time going flying the FPV into a tornado tomorrow my mom is watching Yeah. 
Sierra says hello. She, okay. she might be in bed now. Might be an old text. Thank you everybody for joining us on this live stream. Uh, we gave it everything we had. We always give every chase everything we have. Hopefully you enjoyed our new live streaming setup. Ooh, that was some nice lightning in front of us. I think we're going to just follow this convective line east for a while, but it does have a special weather statement up there south of Moreland, Kansas. There is about a 50 to 60 knot low level jet out of the due south. It's a pretty strong low level jet. And that's creating a lot of low level wind shear. Joe posted a video of that funnel cloud yet? I haven't even watched. Man, nice nub up at the cloud base. Nice nub. It's severe up there near Moreland, folks. I got a severe thunderstorm warning near Moreland, Kansas. Not, it's not a ton of rotation, just to the northeast of Quinter, Kansas. Smells nice in here. Oh, you're getting your Jalisco. Those are pretty good, weren't they? Coming back into town. Watching that line, it just went severe. Moreland up toward Lenora. We were coming into Liebenthal. There's a lightning bolt just to our east, north of Otis. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. 
Yeah, tomorrow looks pretty significant. But a NATO cast has a 30% hatch area for tornadoes. I think it's going to go moderate. Have you looked at the zero Z models? I did look at the zero Z models. There's a chance it goes moderate. I don't think they'll pull that moderate, moderate until probably a mid morning update though. Just to be sure. 11:30. I bet you it's in love. It might even be a uh, out of uh, out of sync update too. Mm -hmm. Just because timing's more along that one. Uh, or, well, H triple R says it happens at before one. Nam says between two and five. So there's a timing difference on. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed our multi-camera setup. The storms are really fluffing out, aren't they? I see more lightning coming in with that line. These are still good. Just crossed into Ellis County here in Kansas, coming into Hayes. Thanks, everybody. I'm <laughs> blocking all those in bio accounts that keep commenting on it. I, I had like seven. You, Jess, and Bio. I had seven. Oh, <laughs> I had seven comments That's on one sad. tweet that is all the same. Like yeah. in Bio, in Bio, in Bio. Mine said the recent one I saw it said huge ass in Bio. <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I replied to it. Oh, I'm, let me go look. I'm gonna mention they did. <laughs> yeah, really, people really didn't really see that one. I only had six likes on it. Oh, really? Yeah, just random people. Saw Maybe it got taken down. No, it's still there. Yeah, I bet it's hiding those posts. See how it shows up a little darker than that? I think we just lighten up the screen, right? I mean, it's lit up. See? Not lit up on there. I know, but why isn't it show the same view? How delayed is it? I do this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that'll light everything back up. Yeah, but it's weird. I see what you're saying, though. Like, it doesn't move anything. It's not even close to it. That's a lighten it up on here or something? We put to catch stuff on the YouTube stream. What's your NAM 3K at 22Z tomorrow? The NAM 3 kilometer NAM looks fast. You know, like this little band that goes through ahead of it and then. Yeah, that lead band, the HRRR shows that thing going tornadic. Correct. And then the NAM shows the back one going tornadic. I, I believe the NAM a little bit more, but probably need to be there for both. Yeah, I think that that just lightened up the screen.
the, it says the ISO is at 1920. the second line? Yeah, that's a H2 bar random control. Yeah, for some reason that's way too dark, Brian. And the H2 bar is showing an environment after I got second line. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there could be a couple of intense tornadoes out there. Daytimes too. Yeah, see how dark you are on this thing? This box does something. It has to. I couldn't figure it out earlier. I played with it for like 45 minutes with Brian. Does it happen when it's the front view too? Yeah, it eliminates the uh, ability of the Black Magic app to make any adjustments to the video. Yeah, but it's weird because it works on the rover. The rover's using the same app? Yep. Same everything. We've even taken the rover camera, like the phone, out, put it up here, and it does yeah. the same thing through here. Swap phones and it does the same thing for whatever reason. It has to be the cord then, right? Or something? Oh, we switched cords too, did the same yeah. thing. I really think it's a setting in, in here, but in order to change that setting, you have to buy an external battery so we can actually take this off the cast and it, yeah. edit the colors. It's, what, it's the only thing I can think of anymore. Are you saying it ends up on the channel? What? It's weird because we've used every single HDMI port on there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I would have. I feel like we've done everything except being able to dig into here and change the color. Coming into Hayes. Welcome to Hayes, folks. Here we come. Could be RGB limited versus full. Here. Yeah, we got an Atomos box, A T O M O S, and uh, all like uh, iPhone 15 feeding into it. it. Looks phenomenal on the screen on iPhone 15. Uh, then it seems to flatten out some of the color feeding into the box. Yeah, Hayes has just a fantastic Walmart up here. It's just clean and well run. 
well stocked. Great place to shop. Yeah, great place to shop. Yeah. Looks like Central and Eastern Iowa sure does look good. Wow. It's a ship lie. Yeah, we would get a Cybertruck, but I'm worried they're a little bit, not as aerodynamic as the Dominator 3, maybe a little bit chintzy for the debris. Oh, well, we really need that extra debris protection. Yeah, just... It, used to, it looks really good on the screen. Why can't it just look like that on the stream? What? See, that would be amazing. It looks so good right there. It looks that good. It looks like that on the rover, right? It looks yeah. really good in the rover. Rovers being HDMI'd in from DJI, though. Yeah, but it also, when we were having this issue on the, the when we had Supercar Blondie, I had the other iPhone here for the dash cam, and it looked good if I turned it around. Why can't we connect that one up on here? When we don't have it, to, we don't have the, all the right, there's not a case for it make it work and flip it in and... It's a different size phone? Yeah, yeah. it's just the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro Max. Gotta fix that, it looks terrible. It's so dark. All right, I got some rain coming in. We're still monitoring that line to the west. Over. Take a little bit. Let's take it right here. That's still a dash cam, right? Ah, uh, yeah. We just switched it. It might take a minute to update. Is better. That was better. Not compared to that. It does, but it doesn't look like that. If you adjust your ISO all the way up to uh, like 1900 on there. It does look better, but. We don't have it set to that one yet. Look at that models from around here, guys. Oh, oh bumpy. Let's see if we 
natural environment there in southern Iowa, northern Missouri. Our mics are about to, the uh, mic monitor too is about to die as well. So. Yeah, I think we're going to go east out of Hayes and then head in the direction of Des Moines. But we're keeping an eye on that convective line right behind us. Ooh, it's starting to intensify down a little further south. West of Nest City, wouldn't be surprised if that portion of the line goes severe. But it definitely looks like the tornado threat is starting to decrease a little bit. Unless you can get tornadoes embedded within that line. Oh yeah, oh, that's a, definitely a decrease. Yeah, we got that storm southwest of Nest City starting to look a little better. It's got a lot of lightning on it. Ooh. Yeah, there's a possibility of some Tornadoes and better within that line west of Nest City. If I were in Nest City, I'd be watching that line pretty closely. It's starting to intensify, a lot more lightning in it. Even some meso vortices and better within that line. A lot of lightning also out the window here. Positive CGs. Wow. And we're in Hayes, about a mile south of I-70, and we're about to head east. Only got about a six and a half hour drive to Iowa. But yeah, it's looking to me like the tornado threat is probably wow. decreasing, so. I think we're gonna drive all night up to Iowa and then expecting a big outbreak tomorrow. So, what do you think we should do? Shut it down? I think so. I think we're gonna shut down the live stream and then we're just gonna grind all the way to Des Moines. But we're definitely gonna keep an eye on that convective line. I do think it's gonna intensify over the next couple of hours. Might even get some tornado vortices in there. Ransom, Nest City. Definitely see that portion of the line. A little bit worried about that. This looks stable from Joaquini up through Hill City. Even though you have that severe thunderstorm warning there south of Lenora. Definitely watching this area. Out near Nest City. That is a good place to sit, probably. Mm -hmm. But yeah, everybody, be sure to hit that notification button. You don't want to miss tomorrow's stream. Definitely a higher probability of daytime thunderstorms, but this is how storm chasing goes. You just got to keep showing up over and over again, and eventually to get that tornado intercept, just like what happened in Spalding, Nebraska last year.
So thank you, everybody. Never stop chasing. East on 70, we blast. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, you heard him. Uh, we're wrapping up for the night. This is like maybe the third or fourth thing this year that it was like, look decently like, hey, this is going to be a little outbreak. And it was a nothing burger. Um, but tomorrow has a higher probability uh, for sure. So um, hit those notification bells. I'm a little tired too. Thanks, guys, for joining. I, I just want to point out we didn't lose signal once on this stream. Not once. We did it. We're going to continue with the upgrades, guys. There's a funny little color thing going on. You could see that, that Reed was trying to um, tech support at the end there. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Never stop chasing. These guys are going to go all night, so send them some love. They got an all night drive, basically. East to tomorrow.